Here we go. Actually, we're gonna get a new game. Resident I could have loaded my, uh, loaded up my original saves. But I don't really want the extras. Here's my settings that I use. I don't, I don't use the alternate controls. That's for, uh, that's for new people. The people that play the classics, I believe you should stick with the original. Alright guys, Resident Evil, here we go. Resident Evil. How do you like your games? Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is leave it on like climbing a mountain because that's normal mode. All the other ones is for people that want it easy. We don't want it easy tonight. Heck no. Alright. I recommend, probably play as Jill. I definitely play as uh, Jill the first time through. Alright, here we go. Here comes the cutscene, guys. I'll let you watch it, let the cutscene play out before I begin talking. So you guys can pay attention to the story. Alright. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. This way. Damn it. Make for that mansion. Here we go. Awesome. The best opening ever. The hell's that? All right. Yeah, you do get the blue screens every now and then for some reason. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... 
What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. Yeah, here we go, guys. A dining room. Yeah, someone mentioned this is their favorite Resident Evil. It's probably mine, too. I don't know if you can see behind me, but that is a uh, Resident Evil poster way back there of this game. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Examining blood. That's great. Barry. <laughs> Let's hope this isn't Chris's ketchup, someone just said. All right. Voice acting is even crazier on the original. <laughs> they cleared it up some in this. Oh, what the, what the flip? Let's go. Barry. We gotta go right back to Barry. Badass. Hell is this thing? <laughs> I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Yeah, you can say some good ammo there by not fighting it right off the bat. Run straight to Barry. Barry's got the firepower. What the hell? Zombie just shut himself back in there? Holy shit. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Help me look for him, Jill. Yeah, they did a good job on the voice acting in this compared to the other. Now, there is stair surfing. You can, uh, a lot of speedrunners use that, but I'm going to try not to in this. Like, you repeatedly hit square, surf the stairs. I got used to it when I did my speed run, so it's a habit. Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. Something happens. Let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Much appreciated. Thanks for the lockpick. Awesome. Barry saves the day every time, guys. You gotta love Barry. What's for the mod? Hang on. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Just a second. I didn't read it all. Oh, okay. You said, uh, thanks for making you... 
All right, yeah, thanks for making a moderator. All right. So let's go examine this body. Remember, the zombie was tearing this guy up all ago. Looks like he's holding something. All right, that's the film that belonged to Kenneth. The zombie, like, ate his throat out. Yeah, I stick with uh, I stick with tank controls, guys. If you, I believe, if you played, if you played the classics, you have no, you have no business doing the alternate controls because it's really, really, it, it makes it so easy for me if you use alternate. You know, if you're new to the game, feel free. But if you play the classics, I don't really believe in it. So that's uh, you can definitely tell I'm hitting the 180 degree turns and all that. There's a corpse collapse in the floor like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? You gotta read everything like Barry would. Alright. Head up the steps. Yeah, this is the path that I usually take. You can take different paths in Resident Evil, but I usually go this way. Yeah, actually, you might have to go this way to do some of this part. Alright, there's another herb here. Holy crap, there's a lot of herbs on normal mode. Oh shit, here we go. First test of skill. See if we can, uh, maybe we can slip right past him. Oh my gosh, I was too close. Alright. That's nuts. Alright, we got the golden arrow, guys. And this is telling us, yeah, examine an item, which is what we're gonna do in a minute. Examine that arrow. Okay. Mm, how many shots do you take? Fuck's sake. Oh! Okay. That was too close. I really wanted the handgun ammo, though. I don't even think it... Did it kill him? We're not gonna wait to find out. Amazing, amazing atmosphere in this game. That was really freaking close, though. Almost got bit. <laughs> Alright. Shit, there's another one in here. Alright, this is what you call a defense item, the dagger. It's gonna save our ass. Basically telling how to equip it in this document. How to use it if you're using manual. You know, you hit the left trigger. The default is automatic. If you get grabbed from the front by a zombie, she will equip the defense item and stab the zombie in the head with it, which is freaking awesome. Alright, let's go down the steps. Alright. Be sure to shoot the zombies in the head, otherwise, later you will have issues. I don't think we're gonna have issues. I think we got this. Alright guys. First puzzle test here. A tomb engraved with a picture of an angel. In the shape of an arrow. Alright, so what we're gonna do examine. Good lord, look, listen to the zombie. Golden arrow. Hell yes, this is what we're going to use, guys. Alright, I've already examined it. Let me back to the screen. Okay. Shit, the zombie's getting back up. You can run faster if you unequip the gun, but it just looks cool. I got it equipped anyway. A book has fitted perfectly right here. All right, book of curses. Examine that in just a minute and find out what that's all about. All right, when we get back in the mansion. All right. Well, that was close. Probably would have bit me there if I kept going. Alright, back to the mansion. Hang on. Alright, here we go. Here we go, guys. We're gonna examine that book because we're gonna need a key. Did I just spoil what was in the book? Let's find out. 
definitely amazing compared to the first Resident Evil. Look how much they upped the graphics. If you guys have never played the first one, or if you've never played this one after the first, you know what I'm talking about. Alright, here's the mansion key. Book of Curses. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Now that's a clue for later. Before we put the key in the door, let's examine the key. Examine this beast and there's a there's a freaking sword there. So it's called the sword key now. Here we go. Guess what door this is? The sword key door. Let's go, guys. All right, let me see what the chat's saying while I'm moving ahead. All right. You guys remember this room, right? Oh, shit. Before we go further, we can move this. Hell yes, defense item. We're not going to not take it. Oh shit, I believe I moved it the wrong way. Alright, what were you saying? Congratulations on your like button, button wedding. You're officially married to Jason's videos now. Hang on, who are you talking about? Oh, you made love to that like button? Alright. Sounds good to me. Don't you guys just really enjoy, like, the the atmosphere in this game is just amazing compared to the first one? I mean, the first one was amazing, but what they did here. Make a big herb. Hell yeah. Three green herbs is a full health restore. Red and a green is also a full health restore. Health regeneration. Gotta take your time to combine. We're gonna need that chemical. Hell yes, we're gonna need it. Who wouldn't need the chemical? Who wouldn't want chemicals in their pocket? I read that on the next loading screen door. I love this. I love this because you get loading screen door and have enough time to read as you're going through the doors. Amazing. It's full of dirty water. Hell yes. Remove the plug. Why not? Nothing bad can happen. Powerful kick! Hell yes! Oh man. Hasn't been service in a while. Okay, this is what we wanted to empty the tub for, the dagger. Hell yes, let's go. How did you scare- you said you scared your mother's boyfriend? Was it a prank or something you did? Alright, let's go. You got chased around the house. Holy crap, after a prank. Alright, here we go. We're going to grab the shotgun. There's a shotgun in this room. Hell yeah, there's another dagger. Gosh, they're giving me a lot of defense items. Oh shit, can't carry anymore. I bet I can if I waste an herb. Hell yes, we're gonna waste an herb here. So we can get the shotgun. We gotta keep it fast paced, guys. There's an ink ribbon there. We don't need it. We don't need ink ribbons. Even though I will save in about 10 minutes. Just in case. 
I disturbed his bath in there. <laughs> That's funny. I disturbed his bath. He was getting all clean. The zombie needed to be clean. Trying to wash up and I ruined it. Trying to wash that virus out of his body. Okay, epic cut scene time. Oh god, what did I do now? Wesker! Barry! Help! Jill! You in there? Barry? Get me out of here! The door's jammed! Stand back! <clears throat> Grab my hand! <clears throat> Amazing. They even changed the loading screen door. Barry. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Really? Thanks. But Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to find other clues? I'm glad and all, but why are you here? I just had something I wanted to check. Anyway, we should get back to searching for Wesker and Chris. Thanks, Barry. I owe you one. Don't mention it. Oh, man. Barry's amazing. Saved our ass there. Oh, you scared somebody with a clown mask on while they were taking a nap. Ah, oh, that's what you did. Holy crap. Here we go. Nothing like being awakened from a nap with a clown mask. Scare the shit out of somebody. Okay, this is going to be a dangerous room. Oh shit, dude. Now, I, I would be using the knife a little, but when I'm live, you guys know I don't trust my skills live. Oh, fuck's sake! All right, good. My gosh, we got him at least. All right, all right. All right, let's go. What is this? The warm light makes you relax. Is our document? This is ta this talks about disposing of dead zombie bodies. They may appear to be dead, but in fact, they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to cease their resurrection. Incarnation or destruction of the head. If further methods are discovered, you will be notified immediately. It's talking about we're going to either have to shoot them in the head or burn their zombie bodies. All right. Let's see. What What did I just... What, did, what the hell did I pick up? All right. Um... You gotta have to put some stuff in the item box like this for a moment. Uh, we're gonna need that. We're gonna need that because we're gonna go straight into a boss battle here. I'm not taking. I'm not taking some of this shit. Like we don't need all these herbs. Hell no. I believe we will need this just in case. Hey, what? What is up? What is up? What is up? Barry, you're just like, Barry is like, no problem, I'm a badass. Hell yeah. Hey, what is up? What is up? How are you doing? How is your day going? Alright. Yeah, Barry is amazing, guys. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's head out of this room. I'm, I'm too brave, I'm not gonna save at the moment. Or should I? Should I save? Probably not. We're still early on. We're still early on, I'm brave. I will be saving just in case because my live skills aren't as good as when I'm playing alone. Alright, there's a zombie body there halfway through the wall for some reason. Oh shit, dude. Down he goes, but he's not dead. Oh, come on. Ooh, man. Wait, did that one... Hey, he did! Oh my gosh, two two zombies fell down there. That's, that's an opportunity to use, uh... Hey, we can burn them both at once, guys. If you are aware, you can burn zombie bodies in this game that keeps them from coming back to back alive. What they call them, uh... Oh, good and lord, have mercy. Yeah, the zombies come back alive as crimson heads. Oh, you son of a bitch! Don't, oh, the, oh, oh! Oh! Okay. I'm letting him bite me once. I could have used a defense item, but I, I wasn't thinking straight. 
I do have my defense items on manual because when I was a pro playing it, I decided to switch it on manual and now I'm suffering from it. Okay, we got that covered. Next time I will hit the defense item button. Alright, what the heck is this? A whistle! Yes, we will. We're going to find out what the dog whistles for in just a moment. All right, let me read this document. It's important, kind of. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to be coming running at the sound of the dog whistle. This is where you come in the thing is i reckon you're the only person that can hear that can that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling which means only you can put this collar on him the object that sir spencer wants hidden is concealed inside you're the only person i can trust with this of course you'll get something out of it as well remember that certain item you've always wanted to get a hold of well in exchange for your services i just might be able to get it for you this could work out well for both of us i cannot read fast i need to quit trying to read fast I'm just trying to pick up the pace so we can get a long ways. Or, well, I, I think we can beat the whole game one night. Alright, well that was talking about the dog. We're going to have to blow a whistle, which you can probably guess what it's for. Just talking about a damn dog back there, so. Alright. Call them. <laughs> Alright. Run back here because I forgot to grab the fuel. We're going to burn some zombie bodies. Or at least two of them. All right, what was the chat saying? Wood, what's the chat saying? Lord have mercy. They call him a good Lord have mercy. All right, I need to be able to... The, the loading screen doors aren't as uh, slow as I believe I remembered. All right, we refilled our fuel canteen. That's what those tanks are there for. That way we can burn zombies with it. Crimson heads. Yes, they are. They are transforming, guys. When they, they're going to get up and start running if I let them uh, sit up. I mean, if you don't burn them, they're going to get back up and be fast as ever, guys. So we're going to burn these two. And I just may... I'm going to leave one of the other ones up so you guys can see. Okay. I mean, if you, if you don't run off those zombies fast enough, I just remember that it can burn you as well. So that's why I started there. Okay. Um, I, I do not like getting burned by fire. It's just as scary as zombie bites. Alright, we burned that son of a bitch. Okay, what do we got? What do we get? We got too much shit. That's what we got. Alright, let's go. Keep moving. We're gonna head to a different item box and take care of that. Okay, what do we got here? Um, we can just put some of this shit up, but... Actually, we're gonna go back because, uh... If the we need we need at least at least one slot because we're gonna run into Barry and if you have that slot empty he will give you something. So we're gonna just empty out this lighter and all that bullcrap and we're gonna deal with the crimson heads instead of burning them. Since I am since I am a pro, guys, if I get killed without saving, I'm gonna be pissed. I'd be so pissed. All right, put that back. Put this back. No need for it at the moment. Now we can go in the back room and get a map. That's what that big block of wood's for. Barry will always save you by killing zombies with a headshot. Uh, I'm not even sure I have a clown mask. Yeah, I don't know if I own a clown mask. Alright, should we go? You know what? For, uh... Yeah, since it's the first time, I may show you guys how to get that map back there. Before we go to the dog area. It's this block of wood here. If you're not familiar with a mansion in the surrounding area, you can turn this into a map. And I'll show you how. Oh, shit, dude. I'd have to go back and get the, uh... You know what? We're gonna do this a little later. We're gonna come back to this later. I'm gonna go straight to the dog first. Because I want to go back to the item box. That gets repetitive down there. Oh, you guys hear that? I believe that was a headshot. We don't have to worry about burning him. Remember that document that said either burn them or destroy their head? All right.
Barry. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. Yeah, <laughs> we got a can of fizz. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. Yeah, they really cleared up the uh, dialogue in this compared to the first one. Like, there's gotta, there must be a back door somewhere. All right, here's zombie on the other end. Sword key doors. That's why we got the key so we can unlock these sword key doors too. Them reflexes. Talking about my reflexes. Yeah, some pretty amazing ones, I guess. Uh, which reflexes are you talking about? Left the comment said them reflexes. All right, here we go. There's a dog whistle. Remember that? The document was talking about that. So, oh, well, we're gonna use it here. You blew the dog whistle. Lord have mercy! What the heck is that? Bad news. Holy shit, I'm in caution. I wouldn't have imagined. Lord have... Ooh, man, man, man. Mm -mm -mm. You know, I'm, I'm starting to play it safe now. I mean, you know, since I did not save, I'm starting to feel... Um... Oh, Lord. No, turn around, Jill. Come on now. I knew there was another one. I shouldn't waste the shotgun, but... I knew there were two, but... I just wanted the hill. Hope I'm not on... Oh, oh good. I'm, I'm on fine. Good. Yeah, I definitely need to just... Uh, probably should save. What you can do is you can go back out this door since we don't have a slot. You probably don't need this dog whistle anymore. Hell no. We're going to keep that son of a bitch. We are discarding it. What am I talking? I discarded the whistle so I can pick up that collar, guys. Let's see what you said in this quick loading door. Uh, he's so prone to it. Prone to what? Prone to what? It's like I need to, I need to read back in the chat to catch up on what you guys are talking. Alright. We got the dog collar. We're going to examine that. Any Easter eggs if you hang on to the whistle? I wish there were some Easter eggs. I would be hanging on to keys, whistles, and all that stuff if there is like an unlockable or an Easter egg, but I have not noticed any. Oh shit, dude. Okay, run. Uh, a good trick. The zombies cannot bite you on the steps, but keep in mind he can puke on you. They won't, they will not grab you and bite you on the staircase, guys. I use that trick. You can use that to knife the zombies to death if you want. Especially going on hard mode. It's a good strategy. Alright, we're gonna just throw that block of wood in there for a moment. I don't know when we're gonna head back up there to the map room. I figured I would show you guys how to get the map, but I have not done it yet. But keep in mind, you would want to get the map early on if this is your first time playing. The coin. That's not a coin. You can't fool me. It's the... It's the shape of a key, the imitation of a key. Hell, yes it is. It's not a real key, guys. It's pointless. <laughs> not really. We're gonna find that out in a minute. Um, do we even need the shotgun right now? Probably not. Should I, should I save? If I were smart, I would. You know, just because I don't want to redo the whole game, I'm gonna... I don't think we're gonna get killed at this moment, but I will save just in case. Does it bring up a blue screen when I do this? Probably. I hate when that happens. Alright, probably gonna 
We're gonna go over my pretty blue save file here. All right. Extra credit points if you guys can tell me what mode I beat on that second slot to get the blue. Do you guys know what I beat there? What is, uh, here comes a blue screen, but that'll be over in a second. Yeah, guys, what is the blue? What mode did I beat to get that? The first slot was red, and that was hard mode. There are other game modes in this game. And I just, I just overwritten, overwritten the blue one. I don't, I don't think that was a, yeah, I think I used my red slot to unlock everything. Alright. Did I leave something important? Hell no. Now we're just gonna go grab a defense item out of here, I believe. Alright, no, it wasn't normal mode. I think normal mode is, uh, clear. Oh shit, we need that broken shotgun, damn it. Because, uh, remember Barry gave us the shotgun. He, he pulled us out of there. May as well just grab it. We're heading back the other way. Because this door over here is locked. I don't have the, um... Uh, making sure I didn't have the empty fuel canister. The canteen. Alright. Alright, this door would be locked. And we're gonna go for the armor key. I believe that's the next key we're gonna get, guys. I'm just gonna drop this shit in here real quick. Oh, we need to be burning some zombies, guys. This is gonna get really dangerous if we don't... And I believe it's about to get dangerous anyhow. I should have did. I should have got that fuel canteen. Damn it! All right. Well, we we're gonna throw that back. Unlock that. Okay, I got it. Let's go. Son of a bitch! These zombies are gonna be running in a few minutes, and I'm not burning the bodies. This would be okay. Uh, I'll read that in just a moment. See that? He pukes. He, they will not grab you on the. Uh, I, oh gosh, I didn't kill this one, did I? Here we go. Son of a bitch, Jill. Shoot. Oh god. Go, go, go. Man, man, man. Is he dead? this oh we're gonna have to reload right sure wasting a lot of ammo dude they are tough right now we are gonna burn these bodies real quick I am gonna go get the fuel Hey, at least burn two of them. I may leave one intact just to show you guys what it's like to not deal with the zombies. If this were your first time through, you probably would not burn them all. Because you wouldn't really be used to it. Alright. Yep, yeah, where was there's a fuel canteen. And we're gonna have to grab that lighter, of course. Do you guys do you guys prefer when I have the chat on the screen here? Or do you like it? off the screen like your conversations would be appearing on the video if I had it but I don't I figure this uh, HD looks amazing I didn't know I almost put the chat on the screen again like in Co Veronica but I did not grab that lighter grab that lighter hell yes we will yes we will Lord this is gonna be this is gonna be a challenge live guys because I am not doing as good as I would normally uh, for example, I would not have wasted that much ammo. I would have probably got the knife out on the steps. Alright, let's burn this one. Here we go. Awesome. Let's burn this. Head out the door. Head out the door. Keep moving in the right direction. Yeah, you like it on the screen? Alright, yeah, that makes a lot a lot of sense. Chat on the screen. I guess uh, next time I will have it on the screen. Oh, good lord have mercy. That's what happens if you don't burn the zombies. And now, 
guess what? Everyone we did not burn are going to come back to life. And we're going to be in trouble. Did that scare you guys? I remember uh, back when I played this, like the first time. Whew, man, 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 man. Scare me. Big jump scare there. If you don't expect it. Especially if you're behind the controller, guys. Yeah, the only... Okay, remember the imitation of a key? Hell yes, we're gonna use it. Yeah, the only bad thing uh, about not having the comments on the screen is I am a lot slower to reply. I'm kind of slower to reply to the comments. If I had a big screen instead of a small one, I would be faster. I'm just gonna show you guys this area. Keep in mind, we're gonna need an emblem. The helmet. An emblem of the helmet. All right. And uh, this key, let's examine the one we just got. The examine. There's an engraving of an armor. Armor key. And yeah, when you first get these keys, they say mansion keys. They don't give you the description. And since we examine, we have the sword key and we have the armor key. And we're going to go to the last sword key door to get rid of it. Because remember, once you put all the keys in the door, it'll tell you that you can discard them. Very useful for saving up your slots. It makes it easy. Yes. All right. Uh, crimson. Oh, gosh. We got to move, right? We got to move through this shit. Go, go, go. Because that, that crimson head was back there, guys. Good Lord, have mercy. I'll read that in a minute. I hear the crows. Do you guys like, uh, do you like Jill's playthrough or Chris's better? I kind of recommend, you know, playing as Jill's first. That's just, maybe that's just me, but I feel like, uh, you gotta have some berry. You gotta have your berry in the game the first time. Okay, oh god. I should be. Oh, yeah! Oh, my goodness! Hell yes, guys! You gotta clap for that one. Hell yes. I can imagine you guys, you know, trying to clap right now. You know, depending on what device you're using, maybe like a phone. Okay, there, there's no further use for this key. You can discard it, yes. And you, like, try to clap. You have a phone or something in your hands, and it goes flying across the room. All right. I like sandwiches. Jill sandwich. You like Jill sandwiches. You played through five but never beaten it. All right. Okay, there's really no purpose in this room. Well, here's a defense item here, but I think there's zero purpose in this room on hard mode. Zero. And uh, back there would be an elevator. I'm going to show you guys that because we will be returning to this area. Elevator right here. It has no power. Alright. Remember that for later on. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Messed up kitchen. Gosh. Oh no. <gasps> no need in wasting ammo on him. Let's lock the son of a bitch in here. Loop around. Yeah, you said that you uh you played never Resident Evil 5 but you never beaten it. Yeah, I think you have to um you just have to have, like, if you play a co-op with somebody that don't talk too much, it's really fun, especially it has replay value. I think it was, it was great after the, after the first playthrough, it kind of gets addicting. I thought 5 was great, you know, after you play it a while. Just the, uh, the mechanics and the controls and all that story, amazing. I like it for the story of Chris versus Wesker, you know. I thought it was amazing, especially the, uh, ending and all that. Definitely not the number one, you know, favorite Resident Evil or anything, but... Alright. What did we get through here? Yes, we have a new key, guys. Let's head up here. I think... What is our slots doing? I think we should go this way first. Armor key. The key we just got.
Oh, yeah, it sounds like you played all the Resident Evils. You play 1, 2, 3, 0, Code Veronica, and all that. That's a lot of them, especially the classics. All right, guys. Will you take the dagger? Hell, yes, we will. A plant. Someone was using the bench in place of a stand. Oh no, that's Forrest, a member of the Stars Alpha or is it Bravo team? Alpha team, probably. Well, let's let's examine him. Forrest has given up the ghost. It looks like he's been dead for a while. All right. Well, there's a grenade launcher of Forrest. All right, head back. Oh lord, I'm starting to remember something bad. Okay, not good. Do we have time to pick that up? Pick it up, Jill. Pick it up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We're in fine condition. If we can slip past him. Okay. Okay. Um. Unequip. Easier to dodge, maybe. Run. Oh, you son of a bitch. I do. Okay. Damn, Forrest. Dude, he's fast. Look at him. Holy shit, look at him. Sorry, Forrest, we're out of here. I didn't want to waste a grenade launch around or anything. Alright. Head back to oh shit, is there danger in here guys? Can you remember? Did I take did I take care of all the zombies in this room? Oh gosh. This is another key door. We'll be heading back here in just a moment. Another one? Eh, we we um we're gonna have to stop and get rid of some things. Oh Lord have murky! Okay. We're in caution? Dude. Dude. Uh Okay, that's what happens if you don't burn all the zombies, guys. You say you're not missing a lot on Resident Evil 5, you're, you're missing, uh, well, you're missing the gameplay and epic cutscenes of the story. I'd say. I'm missing, uh, the whole Chris versus Wesker ending. If it is the ending, you know, they come back and, and end that. Or they come back and, uh, if Wesker ever came back, they said he was dead a long time ago. And if you have a friend, you'd be missing a good co-op. Uh, yeah, we're gonna hit the switch. All right, let's see what's over here. All right, we got a box. It has a description here. A design of the sun and moon. On the plate it says sunshine will awaken me. Alright, there's a heart there. And it lights it up on the top. Disconnect that. There's our first death, death mask. Remember the document back there? A mask without nose, eyes, or mouth. Perfect. Good lord! Okay. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I do have that game. Until Dawn. I've got it. I beat it, actually. I just never streamed it. Alright. Oh, shit. That zombie's still laying there, guys. Well, let's see what this says. I left you some bullets in the room on the right. 
feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble. Very amazing. Saves your ass more than once. Let's see here. We got grenade. Okay, first aid spray and grenade launcher rounds, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the grenade launcher in the case for now, I believe. Oh, we got, well, we got two shotgun shells. We missed some back there. I'll show you guys the wooden uh, map area real quick. We still got the armor key. Oh, good lord. We need to burn some zombies, right? Might burn a few on the way. Or burn the one in here. So this can be a safe room. Or outside this door. That one zombie's still there. He's, he's getting ready to rise up. Rise up. All right. This, uh, more more uh kerosene here hell yes we're gonna refill it yeah we uh do we yes we have a good making sure we still have the lighter save that mask away yeah i will put that in the box you hate the graveyards they look creepy you hate the oh yeah the graveyard out there is actually where that shotgun ammo is that we need to get the the shotgun ammo i passed up because there's a zombie there burn his ass away all right one crimson up there upstairs let's throw this back in here throw it back in the box and then we're gonna go up there i'll show you guys how to get the map at this where your first playthrough and then we're gonna head to uh god there's gonna be a boss battle coming up guys so we're gonna go in that area actually what we're gonna do is we are going to and just in case you know well not yet not yet we're not gonna save yet and take care of one more thing first throw this mask back Lighter back. That back. Alright, alright. Got that taken care of. Our status is fine condition, so... Uh, we shouldn't get killed, I hope. Show the boss who's the boss. Show the boss who's the boss. That's what somebody said. Alright. Near this door. Use the armor key there. We'll come right back to that in just a moment. Actually, I can't put the wooden thing there because I didn't get the lighter. We're going to do that right when I save. I'm going to just grab everything out of here and do the puzzle room real quick. Pockets. Pocket sand. Lord have mercy. That's confusing me. Pocket sand. Where did that come from? So I left a comment. Pocket sand. Pocket sand. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Alright. First aid box. Alright. I get it. No, no, no. We're not gonna grab that shit. Hell no. If this is a herb, we're just gonna mix that with a red. Go into the puzzle room, take care of that. I don't even know if I should have grabbed that first aid box. Son of a bitch. Might not uh, have enough room to do the puzzle. Eh, it could though. Yeah, I think we have enough room. I grabbed some things in the right order, I believe. Okay. Alright. Lockpick door. You know, if you were Chris, you'd have to be using the old keys and set the lockpicks. I didn't mean to get you that excited. Right. Anyway, you should read this. Okay. A letter is slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. The rest of the letter is illegible. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delayed the inevitable. I am infected and there is no cure for what will follow, except in my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them. My love for you. In an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackcorn. What a name. What Martin Crackcorn. Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. We have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. 
Good question. Who do I like better, Leon or Chris? I'm gonna have to go with Barry Burton. Barry Burton. Well, how about you guys? Barry Burton. Hell yeah. Leon or Chris and she's Barry. All right. What? Okay, that's the wrong one. Well, since we have two slots, we're gonna go with this. Now we're not gonna press the switch. We're gonna mix this with that. All right, now we have room, guys. Take care of the puzzle room so we don't have to make an extra trip. All right, throw this on here. I don't think anybody answered uh, the... I was asking a while ago what you thought the save slot was for blue. Uh, someone said normal mode. And uh, I think the blue one was, uh, I completed Invisible Enemy on this. That was my slot that I overwritten. I overwritten it with this new game slot. Alright. Alright, let's head back down there and empty something. Alright. Well, someone asked how long the game was. It's, uh, well, I did a speed run and beat it pretty quick. What was that? Uh, I got everything in here. I guess you can beat it. You can beat it in like, I don't know if you did the speed run, like what, three hours less? Like two hours. I think I beat it in like two hours and something before. But I'm not really doing a speed run right now. Let's grab the lighter just so I can show you guys that room before we head. Yeah. Actually, we're gonna do that. Yeah. Okay, not not. We're gonna go to that other room. We're just heading in the right direction. Save it. We're gonna save it just in case because we're about to do something dangerous. We will be going back up into that room that I'm talking. It's just right up there on the left. All right. Save it here. Yeah, someone say you like Pierce the best? Nah, you gotta say Steve. You like Steve the best, right? Hey, what is up? You find yeah, you did finally catch one of my streams. I'm on uh, my streams. I'm on Resident Evil Remake. Here we go. After it probably gave you guys a blue screen, we're about to continue. We are going up to the dangerous area now. All right, let's go take care of it. Take care of that. What's next, guys? Oh, what happened? You got a blue screen there, probably. All right. He said, what happened to the cam? I think you got a blue screen. Uh, let me make sure it's up, actually. Yeah, it's still... Ooh, is it... Oh, yeah, it's still up. I was <laughs> got me paranoid. If it wasn't... Oh, okay. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. They, the good thing is those crimson heads aren't as accurate as the slow zombies. But they're dangerous if they start hitting you. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. Okay, that's why I say, because I really want to get this. You have to get this serum back to him in time, guys. I think you have like like freaking seriously like two minutes to do this so I saved there in case I mess it up because I really want I want Richard to survive okay I think we're gonna we're gonna head this way right yes take the upper floor okay 
I get my uh, my serious serious face happening right here for this, dude. Oh god, dude. Okay. Fuck you. I, I need to get past. Go, go, Jill. Damn, dude. Let's go. Was that, was that like the first, second time I got bit? Damn. Son of a bitch. Okay, we're gonna have to. Oh man. We do still have the helmet key in our inventory, right? Hope that didn't slow us down too much. Screw it. I'm doing stair surfing, guys. Have you guys used stair surfing in this? You know, you know, important for speedrunners, I guess. If you don't use the tank controls, I don't think you can do stair surfing. Okay, no, no time for that. Let's go to the serum. Holy mother of God. I am on, uh, orange caution. I have to heal. Yeah, I'm healing. Screw that. Heal and run to Richard. Full speed ahead. What is that? Danger or caution? That looked like danger to me. I healed too fast. It was an I think it was orange. I couldn't see because of my the picture on the top right. Whatever it was, it wasn't good. Okay, we're gonna run right past that for a second. That door is locked from the inside. Alright, we gotta run back to Richard, guys. Make me nervous. That would suck if I forgot the serum. Because I was alive or something. You know, one of my, uh... uh one of my old friends that played this, they... They thought that they could take their time with the Richard part, and they went and did other chores and shit, and he died. I was like, no, you can't do that. You have to do, you have to actually run right back to him to save him. Hell no, you gotta, you gotta save his ass, guys. This isn't, this isn't like an open world game where you have infinite time. You have to do it right off the bat. You're time restricted. You have a time limit. Here, Richard. I'm gonna give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill. Here's my radio. Take it. I'm... <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? Oh, thank God. I thought he's dying. Ugh. I'm okay. The others... Alright. Hell yes, he's okay. Let's see what his description said. Richard is resting peacefully. You should probably just leave him alone for now. Don't tell me what to do. Come on now. Okay, I put all my handgun ammo up. I think you're gonna go ahead and grab the herbs. Thought I'd empty it out to get a few things. That. We're gonna be heading into that room as soon as we get to the lighter. Should have kept the lighter in my space anyhow. Let's grab the lighter and take care of that. Oh, you guys probably know what's what's up ahead and it's it's nothing good. Oh my goodness. We should have took care of him a long time ago. Keeps it interesting though. We have to run past him. I say that now, but if he actually did kill me, I'd be oh, I'd be so pissed. I'm gonna show you guys what that room's all about with the map, finally. Now that we're back here, have some time to get a few things and head back. Alright, let's grab the wood. Uh, we're also gonna need that chemical. Yeah, you can you can actually do things in, in order that you prefer. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the get a few things and try to tackle it all, all at once. I think. Uh, shit. Mix these herbs real quick. All right. It's gonna be dangerous. Just the uh, item management that I'm doing here. Actually, we are going back. We're going back. Uh, you know, the room with the plant. We'll figure that out in just a moment. Don't want to spoil too much for you. All right, take uh, mm -mm -mm. okay. See what we can do. Let's put this. Actually, put it back. 
feel like I've avoided this wooden room too long, so I don't need three, so put that back. I need more ammo, that's for sure. Get that handgun clip. Where are you? Or did I actually waste this much ammo? I believe I did. Uh, 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 shame on me. Let's go then. Ten's enough. We got it. Alright. This is the room that I'm talking about if you need a map. Now that we have the lighter. Oh, Josh from Resident Evil 5. Oh, 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 that was amazing. You two did all of that all by yourself? Oh, oh, amazing. Gotta love Josh. You said he's returning in the RE7 DLC. That'd be great. Is that is that for sure? Okay, that's how we get our map. Did I already grab it? I think I grabbed it. Oh, no. You gotta put the wood in there, guys. Alright, there's our map, finally. So, if you're new to the game. But we have it memorized, guys. So, I think we're good. The other door in here was locked for the moment. I'll be uh, reading that in just a second. As soon as we get through the next loading screen door. Goodness, on GameCube, the loading screen door took a lot longer, so it's uh, it's crazy to read fast. All right. Oh, good lord! Okay, I didn't have my hand on the controller there. That was close. Oh, man, I got lucky. Yeah, we are going through here again. There's a back door somewhere. There's got to be a back door somewhere. All right. Yeah, what, what's your guy's favorite character? You know, someone asked me earlier, do you like Chris or Leon better? But I went with Barry. What's you guys' favorite? Actually, I, I, I probably wouldn't even... I would never say... Chris or Leon. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to point that. I, I, I'd say one of their names and like half of the people watching this live stream would leave like, fuck you, you like, you like Leon, you like Chris better? That'd be funny. All right, handgun magazine. I think for a while, for a while, like every time, and you, you know, when Resident Evil 4 came out, I had Leon's hairstyle and everything back then. You know, I felt like when a new Resident Evil came out, that character would become my favorite all over again. All right. Yeah, I think I got a GameCube just for this game back in the day. Holy shit, that didn't even hit him. It's like with every, every new Resident Evil. Oh, good lord. Shoot him. Gun jammed or something. Okay. Nine bullets, but ten more. He's still alive, guys. Don't worry. Yeah, I don't trust myself to... Okay, maybe he's dead. Ugh, I think he's getting back up a third time, guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there we go. Music stopped. Perfect. Yes, we will. Handgun magazine. Let's go. I have to push this now. Unequip that just because. Okay, that's bad. Let's lure him out here. Come on, this way. This way. I hope we have time to get it and get out. Let's go. Let's try it. Something in here, guys. All right, musical score. We're gonna examine that in a few minutes. Shit, he's in the way, guys. All right, heading out of here. See what the chat's going on about. So I said, Steve and then Leon. I'll read the others in just a moment about your favorite characters. 
Steve, I gotta say, I like Steve. I, I did like, you, and then you said, just kidding, Leon. I did like Steve, how his character developed and everything. A lot of people thought he was annoying, but, you know, it's like, what, like the saddest Resident Evil. He got, yeah, actually, I won't spoil that. Like, a, like the most epic, epic parts, some of them come from Steve and Resident Evil. Alright, what was I doing, guys? Remind me, okay, I know where we're going. Multitasking, multitasking. I'm becoming an expert at it. Next time I probably will put the uh, comments on the side of the screen here. And uh, one of the next coming playthroughs. Alright. Head through here. First we're going to want to... Do we have... Oh my lord. We don't have enough space yet. But we will. We will. All right, I have to dash back here after we go and put this. We're gonna do something with this music, guys. Finally. Oh shit, dude! I thought that zombie was gonna be out and about. Holy shit! We, we yeah, we used the armor key. I think there's one more door for the armor key. Creon, you found a happy medium. Creon, the new character mix between. Chris and Leon, if Leon was a girl, or Chris was a girl, and they had a baby, how cool would that freaking shit be? Creon. Great. We are gonna blow an herb just so I can pick this up, guys. I know that's not, uh, not the thing to do, but since we are live and I want to make it interesting. Musical score, let's examine this for a second. Moonlight Sonata, if you read that. And if you open it, you know, of course, you kind of put together what we're going to do here. A section of the music is missing, leaving only the beginning and end of the music. So let's go ahead and combine this with that. And now we have a full, uh, full music, guys. Here's what we're going to do with it. All right, piano here. Use it. Amazing. Moonlight Sonata. You gotta love it. Can you guys name all the Resident Evils that had Moonlight Sonata? Name them. I think I can. Okay. You see that emblem and you saw the one in the dining room? We're gonna head right back to the dining room. Grab it now that we had space. It's just right in here. Alright. Curious to know if you guys know all the Resident Evils with Moonlight Sonata that played. Okay. Here we go. Emblem. Yo, know, in the other room, you saw a gold emblem. So guess what we're gonna do? What would Jason do? Okay. Oh, good lord. My screen almost fell. Very quiet in this. Uh, you guys see why I left that one crimson head up? Puts a uh, puts a lot of fear on us guys. And I accidentally blew this one's head off. So here we go. Will you take the gold emblem? Yes, we will. I'm gonna trade that for this. Put the cheap emblem there now. <laughs> All right, pick up this document here. Trevor's diary. Important, important document. Eleven days have passed since arriving at this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a, a plate of food and... What the hell is that word? Did they mis, misspell? Meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reason. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows about the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter how. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they're alright. 
I decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray that you're safe. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November the 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I am writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, Most likely your family is already... I pray for their safety. Somehow, I managed to get out of that room. But getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. So his point is in a direction. Uh, George Trevor, he mentioned tiger eyes, gold emblem, and all that good stuff. <laughs> I know how to pronounce that one word. I'm not an expert. I never use that word. I used to be good at, uh, I used to be like a top speller too. Once you, uh, I guess once you, okay. What was I thinking? Alright, use this here. Moonlight, Sen Moonlight Sonata, Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 5, Lost and Nightmares. I think that was, yeah, I'm starting to think that was just those two. Because I, I named those a few nights ago. All right, when the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. It looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock. Try it. Not yet, because I'm going to show you guys how you solve this. A picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has been pierced in the head of the other. All right, there's our hint, guys. One, the two, okay. We read this. Looks like you can turn the gears. Try it. Hell yes, we will. Turn which gear we are gonna turn the large one, I believe. Uh, let's turn that. R uh, yeah, right. No, shit. Well, it, it counts too. Well, yeah. I was just thinking, uh, yeah, that's good. Hell no. I think that's it. There we go. All right. You guys know what this is, right? A key. I wonder what key this is. Let's examine it. A shield. Hell yes, we got the shield key now. What what key is this? Do we Okay, we got one more door for that. That's right. Armor key, one door left. We're going to go there in just a few minutes. We're going to take care of the danger shit in a second. Alright, it's gonna be dangerous. Actually, I wonder. I wonder if we have. <laughs> okay. Might need a better weapon. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go get a better weapon and come back to that. Uh, one room on the right here. Uh, uh, uh. I think we're gonna go ahead and use our last helmet key door. Oh, yo! Oh my god! I would say something. I would give myself a round of applause for dodging this so many times, but I don't want to jinx myself. Because normally I don't dodge them that well. And there we go. I'm never going to dodge them again. It's because I gave myself a little credit there. All right, guys. The doorknob looks like it's about to fall apart. Go through anyway. Yes, we can. All right. No further use for this key. Discard it. We're gonna run on this this amazing room right here. What is up? How is it going? What is up? All right. You gotta you gotta love the atmosphere, guys. Show you guys this puzzle right here. If you examine this, you'll know what to do. Uh, Lisa protected by the three spirits. A picture of a woman wearing a bracelet, a necklace, and a crown. There's a switch at the bottom of the picture. Do not press it yet. So green, uh, green, purple, and orange. That's that's all we have to do. You examine these and line them up. But I think I have it memorized. 
So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go with this one. A bracelet. Boom. Orange. Head to the other side. Picture of a saint wearing a crown. Hit it here. Green. Her crown was green. All right. A necklace. Let's hit this. I think this is the one. Purple. Her necklace is purple, right? I believe so. Let's risk it and hit the button. All right. Yes, we're going to hit the button if you let me. Yes. Hell yes, we got it, guys. Yeah. Depending on what side you hit it on determines the color. Interesting puzzle. Take a shortcut. But actually, we don't want to do it yet. We'll run back. It'll probably be equal, but we're going to run back to the item box. No, this is a quick way here. God, you hear those crows? Man. They want something to eat, guys. Oh, yeah. I did. Yeah, that was a good stream. Little nightmare. Okay. Oh, God. That was quick, man. I had time. To, I threw my screen down and everything. Yes, you do. You, you get attacked by birds. Yes, you do. If you mess that up. Yes, man, man, man. Get attacked by birds that ate your popcorn. Grab, uh, throw this in the box for a moment. I don't think we're going to need the grenade launcher. I just want, oh, good lord. Oh, gosh. Okay. Think we're good. Think we're good. All right. Uh, should we? Shall we save it in case I believe we should? Just because I don't... I don't believe in going back to the beginning, guys. You will have a blue screen for just a moment, but that will be over in a second. I normally do not save this much. But we are alive, and my skills can turn in any second. All over the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, in that one video, got it all over the deck. The popcorn. All right. Here we go. You're probably getting a blue screen right about now. It's unpredictable. But we are saving and now, alright. Does it cut my microphone off every time too at some point? I believe it does. Alright. So we are go <laughs> we're gonna risk it here. Hey, let's, let's put the lighter back, guys. No need for me to carry it around this long. You know what? We're gonna take this for extra credit. Take the chemicals for extra credit. Because we are gonna be looping around anyhow. Perhaps we don't... Oh, we're probably gonna run to the item box anyway first. Who knows? Oh, good lord. Okay. Why the hell did it... Why the hell do I need chemicals if I'm going to run back to an item box? Alright. We're gonna figure it out. <laughs> Alright. Oh, man, here he is again. Scary as shit. Okay. Oh, perfect. All right. Hey, Richard's still resting peacefully. Awesome. You should probably just leave him alone for now. Leave that for people that want to investigate further. It's like, damn it, what's your problem? Leave him alone. He's trying to sleep. He used the shield key. All right, we're going to discard it. Look at all this uh, spider webs and stuff, guys. It's got to be something good back here. Uh-oh. Is there something? <laughs> no, there's nothing back there. Look like it. Hell yeah, Richard. There. Oh, I better help him, right? That damn death mask for a minute. No, 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 don't. Don't follow me yet, thing. Oh, you bitch! Damn it! I fucked it. Because I wanted to show out. Damn it, why didn't I play normally? Son of a bitch, man. Oh, my lord. Wait, what? Yes, I'm poison. Shit. 
trying to show off here. Fuck you, snake. Seriously, my favorite boss battle, too. The snake, probably. Like, one of my favorites of all time, and he's making me mad. Okay, let's grab this shotgun. Oh my goodness, he's close. Oh. He's gonna bite me, right? Oh! What people don't realize is you can avoid this whole battle if you run out the room. Richard, you can't get him back, but you can, you can avoid that whole battle. Oh, since I'm poisoned, I'm better. But keep in mind, we will have to fight him later, for real. You know, but there's no way to get Richard back there. He dies. Even if I, I usually would fight the snake all the time there, but... You know, if there's no, uh, no reward for doing so, then... It's kind of, uh... Kind of defeats the purpose. I thought about fighting him until I got my ass kicked, got poison. I was like, ah, shit, screw it. My live skills. Uh-uh-uh. I didn't fail Richard. Richard got eaten. And I couldn't get him back even if I killed the snake. I would go back there right now and fight him. If the snake's still there. Richard's dead man anyway. You gotta... He's, uh, he's, he's got bad luck written all over. There's no way to save him in this game. Trust me, I would have. I would have. Just because I'm in a hurry to use that last shotgun. Oh, God damn! Shit, dude. Shit. I didn't even have it equipped. I hit... I, man, you missed. You threw me off my damn game trying to make me feel guilty over Richard whenever he's a dead man anyway. Damn you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Making me regret my play style and I'm about to die because of it. I'm gonna uh, defense item. Okay, okay. There we go. Defense item. We gotta get. We gotta get some health here. That's so awesome how you can just stab him in the side of the head, man. Mmm, that zombie's still there. Have you, well, have you ever played that way? Have you ever, um... No, Lord have mercy, I can't even carry that. I bet I can. Might as well just throw that shotgun away. I think the assault shotgun's the best. Did you ever realize that you could, you could avoid that snake completely? The second fight, you can't. Alright. Alright, I throw that shotgun back. Put that back. You know, we're good on the others. Alright, uh, put that back. Put that back. <laughs> You'll know why I'm putting all this shit back in a minute. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We did get that death mask. Now we're gonna go get the final one. Go ahead. Oh, actually. Yeah, put that back. We'll be collecting these again in just a minute. Head through here. Well, we're not poisoned anymore. Good thing, right? Alright, defense item there. That is funny. 
All right. See this plant, guys? No way to get past him. Yet, anyway. Hell yes, we're gonna pump the water. Turn it to red. If you turn it to green, that's bad. See those herbs over there? It would be spraying your herbs. So normally water is good for them, but not when you put this chemical in there. That could have been the herbs, guys. If you if you first time through and you accidentally you you can ruin all these good herbs here. It's like a mini puzzle in a way. I think a long time ago I did that. I believe I screwed all my herbs here. Yeah, you know, that's worth restarting the whole damn game over if you can play fast. <laughs> Actually, maybe not, but still, be a lot. Uh, you'd be feeling a hell of a lot more guilty than you would if you just burned the plant. The evil plant. Burn it with poison, I guess. It's not like it's fire. Alright. Give it a, give it miracle grow. Oh, I'd be screwed. That plant would have just snatched our asses up right there. Okay. <laughs> Combine that. Combine that. Just combining some awesome stuff here. We make uh, that room on the right there. I think there's a defense item and a good document in there. Probably like my favorite document ever. We'll probably come back to it at some point. Yeah, because that, uh, yeah, we'll come back there. Read that document. I just don't have a good, uh, hmm. Yeah, just uh, move ahead for now, I guess. We'll make our way back. Remember that, uh, that was the, uh, you remember that itchy tasty document? That is the one. Alright, we got one death mask. Alright. Head back to the item box and grab the other. Take the stairs, I always run past this dude. Run past this crimson, crimson head. No, oh, Lord, have mercy! Ha! Oh! They're just letting themselves in. All right, we're gonna take care of the mask. Remember, guys. Document started the document about the mask, and we started actually picking up the mask, and now we have all four. It's like see no evil, smell no evil, speak no evil, whatever. Like the last one is, where is it? It's like mouth, ma mouth, no eyes, and nose, and all that. Hell yes, we're gonna <laughs> do. Are we equipped for this? We're gonna go ahead and use. Uh... Oh my goodness, where's the shotgun? We're gonna need a weak ass herb for sure. Where's our weak ass herbs? Like a single green one? Or did I ruin that? It's probably a first aid spray in there. Well, screw it. We're not gonna need no herbs. Mix this though. I hate using a powerful herb on caution. Yep, doorknob. At least we still have another doorknob. I mean, the same doorknob, but at least we have another chance. When that shit breaks, you can't get through this way. We're gonna take a shortcut through the puzzle room to get to the masked area down there. If you guys remember, it's down uh, way underground over here. Right around this corner. Amazing atmosphere in this.
Okay. Here's the shotgun ammo that we passed earlier. And we are taking it this time. I'd be so pissed if that zombie or this uh big monster down here one hit killed me. Crimson heads are dangerous. Alright, examine. A hole of the mouth should be. There it is. Hold the nose should be. I believe it's right here. Eyes, nose, and mouth. That's it. Eyes. Eyes. Here it is. It's hidden, but there it is. Oh, shit. No. Oh. Turn around, Jill. Come on, come on. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, he's fast, man. Do you guys believe I did kill him with a knife before? For that trophy? Yeah, it's like the hardest... I believe that's the hardest enemy to kill with a knife run. Got that. Got our emblem. That means we can go into the next area, guys. Let's head this way, though. Alright. Okay. Now that I'm feeling brave, I can go back to that room and, uh, you guys can see that document that we passed up. And then we're heading out of here. We can get outside the mansion now. Oh shit, dude. Dodging like a pro. Yeah, this is that one room, guys. The one we passed earlier, it did have some ammo. So we came back for that. And of course, came back for this document. Keeper's Diary. Played poker tonight with Scott and... Elias from security, Elias, and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating scumbag. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seen to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. Around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep even on holiday. I've been wearing this damn space suit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. When I went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. 
Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all over the time all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Fever gone but itchy. But itchy. Today hungry. And eat doggy food. Itchy. Itchy Scott. Came ugly face so killed him. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. That's a lot of people's favorite document in Resident Evil of all time. Amazing. Amazing. Amazing document. Okay. Okay. Too much and too much firepower behind that shit, man. Wasting an extra. <laughs> Gotta use a defense item, but. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Alright. Yes. Yes, that was the zombie transformation. Transformation document. Those are always creepy. See a document read by someone that's in the middle of the transformation because their words get jumbled up together. There's other very interesting documents in this too. Especially later on. Amazing atmosphere. You hear the clock. Dining room. Very, very good sound design in this. Alright. We can get the hell outside the mansion now, so... Yeah, let's just go this way, then. Take a shortcut. Alright. Head through here. We have already made it a long ways, guys. Playing uh, this and Resident Evil, si I mean Resident Evil Zero, side by side. Oh shit! Here we go. Oh damn it! Why'd I do that? Get off, you little shit. Um. Oh my goodness. What the hell was I thinking? That was too close. Playing this and Resident Evil Zero side by side. It, it really surprised me on um, Resident Evil Zero had a much sharper image. Oh god, there's a dog back there. I mean, much sharper graphics, I mean. Uh, but uh, this game is amazing. God damn you. I didn't want to waste my time on you, man. Damn dog. Do you guys like Resident Evil Zero? Uh, it's like the best... I noticed it has like the best graphics of any classic. I think it came out like a year after this though. I feel like uh, they could have even made these graphics better if they had enough time to. It says pretty much off the, running off the same stuff, I believe. Like made the same way and all that. I believe it was either a year and a half or two years Resident Evil Zero came out after this. And damn, does it look crystal clear and amazing, the graphics. This game has amazing graphics. But when I went to look at Zero, I was like, damn, why the hell is it so sharp and, like, perfect? Alright. Damn rooster, you messed me up. Okay. Spin, 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 spin. Spinning way too damn fast. Good lord, look at that. How am I supposed to stop it on the W? There we go. Puzzle area. Hell no, don't press it anymore. Hell no. Barry? Monster! James! Gun! 
That's right, guys. You heard Barry. Stay away. Hell no. We're going right back. Gotta listen to Barry. Well, you know. Okay. Uh, that one's slow enough. I think it's W and N. I know because of the way the dogs are going to face. you. Uh, they have to face away from each other. Like that. It, it is a puzzle. You have to go and examine... Like the readings and all that. Like here's like uh, uh, the last gasp of destruction. The other one says the war cry of revenge. Yes, war cry of revenge. Okay. Oh shit, dude! I forgot my uh, mm -mm -mm. forgot my wind crest. Forgot my wind crest, damn it. That's where I was gonna use it. Alright, we'll be coming back. But oh, Lord have mercy, do I wanna wait that long to get the freaking wind crest? Yep, yeah, I'm gonna wait until we uh, loop around. Hell yeah. Just so I can keep it a little faster paced. So you know what? We'll be coming right back through here. What the hell am I thinking? All right. Yeah, you said Resident Evil Zero is your favorite one, but Seven only is only related because at the end Chris comes to the end to save you. Yeah, Resident. You know what? I say uh, like uh, Resident Evil Zero. For a while there, I was like, damn, this is a. For a while, it felt like my least favorite of the whole thing, just because of the way, just the way everything, like the pacing and the. You know, item management, it, it was like, it took way too long, you know, to drop and leave stuff, and then everything is like a, kind of a puzzle to pass things back and forth. That's like my whole half gameplay there. Like, hours goes into item management, but because of the graphics and everything, I like Zero more than I did before. I think it's amazing. It's not my number one figure, but it's, it's good. It's pretty good. We're gonna need that wind crest. Now that you is like my favorite of all time, you know, probably either this or Code Veronica. Alright, I love my, I love my Code Veronica. You know, everybody loves Resident Evil 2. Alright, we got the crank. Hell yes, we came here. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh hell no. Hell no. Hear that dangerous music? No man, can't hit me from that angle. Damn, it's hard to get past her. All right, at least we got our win, Chris. Then, wonder what the hell our status is on. Probably orange, orange hell. Yeah, we're gonna heal. We don't want to risk it, guys, because we haven't saved in about an hour. Just look at the gra- the, the freaking graphics are amazing in this. For how old this game is? Oh, man. It's way ahead of its time. Way ahead. Here we go with the bats. I mean, the, uh, crows. Alright. Just look at this. There's something written. When the wind sweeps across the earth, stars will align the heavens. All right, let's use the wind crest. The hell's all this? What all this shit? Crest are fitted. 
Yes, there's the moon, Chris. <laughs> oh, you fucking piece of shit. This is gonna- I'm gonna have to take the- Oh, I should have had empty slots here. Too much shit. That damn shotgun behind my picture here, I forgot I had it. Alright, this is the puzzle. What we're gonna do, examine and rotate it around. Yes, we're gonna hit the button, why not? Alright, and then we're gonna do the same for the other. Examine, turn it around, and there's a button. Extend the cross. Awesome, awesome! And then we're gonna use it, use that one first, I guess. There's one. Two, and then we're gonna have to go and run and grab the other one. Right here. Let's hope that damn crow don't have a second attempt at hitting me. Alright, we're gonna use it right here. Examine. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Use it. Hell yes, we're gonna use it. What are you talking about? Oh my gosh. It's, oh my gosh, look at that. Amazing. You gotta love that. Awesome, there's our key to the magnum, guys. But we're not gonna, well, you're definitely gonna wanna save that magnum up. <laughs> Never waste it off this early. Uh, you know, not right after you get it. Save it for the big guys. Good evening. Yes, it is. It is a good evening. Alright. Alright, we are heading where the crank area is. If you guys have played this before, you know what I'm talking about. We're about to find out. You, yeah, you like Resident Evil 4 the best? And Resident Evil 1? Definitely, definitely. I agree on 1. Resident Evil 4, you didn't believe how how attached to that game was when it first came out. I'm telling you guys, I had Leon hair back when that game came out. Leon hair. I put on a Leon shirt back then. What? Right. If you can hear me, just give me a sign. Anything. Jill to Brad, can you hear me? Shit, it's broken. Tell you what, Resident Evil 4 is long. It is a like going back to replay it now. It's a long game to me. Shit, dude. These, these dogs are pretty tame tonight. Heck yeah. Got me some pets in this game. Yep, Resident Evil. I'm just thinking about Resident Evil 4. Uh, I think I've, I've played it so many times in the past that it feels really like I haven't been able to play it all the way through in quite a while. You know, maybe at some point, guys, I will uh, decide to stream it because I've played it so many times. I can probably stream it sometime. Uh, did you, you said, uh, amazing. Amazing. Yeah, uh, you said, like, the tyrant. Yeah, it does remind me, like you said, my dad remind me of the tyrant. Well, the tyrant is my favorite boss. Well, probably of all time. Yes, definitely the tired. I love it. Uh, you said, uh, you're from Brazil. That is awesome. What is up, Brazil? What is up, Brazil? Yeah, Resin, you like Resin 3? What is up, Brazil? Um, yeah, uh, like, I guess my favorite, hmm, actually, what's your guys' favorite boss of all time? I would say my favorite is the Tyrant. The original Tyrant, or, um, Yawn the Snake. And he made me mad earlier, so... Uh, Yawn the Snake, I love the snake. You know, I always have, even back in the original PlayStation one. I thought, God, it's just amazing. Like, the way, uh... One of the cutscenes I remember the most is the original director's cut, PS1. Whenever, uh... Richard comes out in that, I feel like the cutscene is better than in this, because his arms bleeding and blood spews out his arms and that. I remember that cutscene so well. And then it all linking back to the snake. One of my all-time favorite bosses. Awesome stuff. Alright, we're in the next area, guys. We are in the next area. Probably leave that blue herb there. Oh, good lord. How many blue herbs do we need? 
We're not gonna take that much damage, I hope. Drop a few things in here. You said... Is that... Yeah, T-001, that is the tyrant, right? Yes, it is. You like the tyrant. And you do... You like Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 3, Nemesis. Awesome. Yo, uh, Nemesis... I have the least experience in Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, honestly. I have not experienced that enough. Probably the least one that I played, but I really did enjoy it. I think it's like the last one that I had gotten. Yes, 3. Awesome game. Okay, throw that Magnum back. Throw the crank back. Uh, first aid spray it makes me look like an amateur, so I'm going to trade that for 3 green herbs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and mix the shotgun and probably put the stuff back. Combine that with, uh, you son of a bitch. Alright, we don't need all that shotgun ammo at the moment. Throw that back and let's be on our way. And you know what? I should probably, oh, should I save? Uh, mm-mm-mm. Actually, I'm brave. I'm brave, so we're gonna skip saving for a minute. And as I go out this door, I'm starting to think of what the hell I just decided. I decided not to, oh my god, what am I, crazy? That means if I get killed, it's probably going to end the whole stream. Just these risks that I take are completely unnecessary. Unnecessary. But I will save right before the boss here. This shit makes me freaking nervous, guys. Live streaming and being... Oh my goodness, because I can get killed right here. Lord have mercy. Oh my god, what am I thinking? Here we go. We'll be coming back. Should be safe for a minute. Uh, Alright, I'll read that in just a moment. Alright. We're not going to take that map just yet, because remember, there's some freaking bees on the other side if you play this before. No, that wasn't part of our deal. But it's not necessary to destroy stars. Oh yeah, Code Veronica's boss is amazing. Love that. It's gotta be one of my all-time favorites, too. Nemesis was a bitch the last time I played. He was... Jill. Barry, I heard someone talking. Oh, you heard. I think age is starting to take its toll. Talking to myself is becoming a bad habit. Talking to yourself? You alright? What's gotten into you? I'm getting you worried, aren't I? But don't, I'm alright. I guess this creepy mansion has gotten to my nerves. Anyway, I think I'll go outside, get some fresh air for a change. Don't worry, I'm just going to get some fresh air. If I'm lucky I'll get to waste some monsters along the way. Uh, 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 Barry, Barry, Barry. Man. Yeah, I was, I was talking about Nemesis being... Being a hard son of a bitch to deal with my first playthrough when I did play it first time. Like, it gives you the choice to fight him or run. Shit, I was playing hard mode. Because it gives you hard mode and it gives you easy. Hell no, I wasn't gonna hit easy. Hell no. Put hard mode on since there's no normal. He just, uh... <laughs> it just took some getting used to Nemesis. Gave me a hard time. Oh, Lord have mercy! Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I forgot, I forgot he'd come in there. Okay. And liquors. Hell yeah, liquors. You, you were talking about the Resident Evil movie. I believe it's called Resident Evil Vendetta. There's a document there. We are going to pick it up in just a minute. Go ahead and set up this ladder. We're going to head back to the room back there before we go down the ladder. But I want to go ahead and get it clear. Alright, liquors are awesome. We'll pick up that document in a few minutes. Liquors. Resident Evil Vendetta. Hey, do you know the exact release date that it's coming out? I believe it is soon. Share the release date. Tell me when it's coming out. Yes. 
Amazing. All right. Head up here. I am gonna. Oh, I'm gonna save it real quick because I'm feeling like a like like if I made a mistake, we'd be back before uh, the yawn. Well, I'd have to go fight yawn again. I'm gonna go ahead and save it just in case. Believe it or not, I have beaten this whole game without saving for the trophy. I did 100% this game. It's like uh, one of the few Resident Evils that I have 100%ed. I haven't gotten to do Code Veronica yet all the way through. Alright. I think the Resident Evils that you're best at, you have the best chance at getting 100% on. That's for sure. Alright. Yes, it's giving you a blue screen probably and it's coming right back. Okay. Alright, we got that key. We're gonna head right over here. See sometime and yeah, I thought it was sometime in May. Alright. Head in here. We that was the key for we didn't examine the key, but I think it was double zero one key for room number one. It's hard to say who. Oh goodness! You hear that? Look at that dude hanging. I wonder what happened here. Let's look at a document. I think there's a document here and some ammo. Hell yes, we're gonna take the ammo. Yeah, I was saying earlier, I don't know who my best Resident Evil character is. Now that you you asked that, I don't know. Suicide note. I had to do it, we ran from those things, helping each other survive, but Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There is no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that, I'll leave many things undone as regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me in my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. So sad. This dude hanged himself and there's a dude apparently in this bathroom around here that he killed. Or that's killed back here goodness i wonder if he's still here we're gonna find out from the document yes he is right up oh, pull out the plug oh man 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 hurry 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 we gotta get the hell out of here here we go the control room key Alright. Get the hell out of there. Hear that intense music. You have the choice to run or fight. We're running right now. He was trying to take a bath. Yep. Yeah. It's best. You know, you have options in Resident Evil. You can, you can run or you can fight. The only way to save ammo most times is just uh, try to avoid combat. If you can. Just like with the snake earlier, we have the choice. Yep, you like Leon the best. All right. We're going back to the ladder, guys. Yeah. All right, let's head down this ladder. Let's see here. Let's see, let's see. Push the boxes. Be ready for ready for Neptune. Oh yeah, Neptune, remember that? Let's see here. Oh you're saying uh 
Oh, you didn't hear anything about a Resident Evil HD remake? This is it. This is... This is Resident... You never heard of this game, you mean? This is Resident Evil Remake HD. This came out quite a... This came out a while ago. And they remastered it for the PS4. And it's remastered for the Xbox 360, PS3, and PS4. Xbox One. Amazing. One of my, it could be my favorite game of all time here. Just what they did to it in comparison to the first game. Graphics, everything upgraded. Awesome stuff. And we're going to see a, a boss uh, named Neptune. Try not to spoil what it is for you guys. Well, it's kind of a boss. You'll see. What do you guys think of this music? You like this music? I think it's very creative. Uh, let's go ahead and pick that up, I guess. Down, 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 down. Yeah, it sounds like aquarium music. Underwater music. Alright. Uh oh. Oh Lord have mercy, I didn't run fast. Unequip that so we can run faster, I suppose. Man, they're catching up, guys. Man, man, man. That would have sucked if I forgot the control room key. Have been making a freaking trip back. Sharks, sharks, sharks. It's scary when they bite you for sure. Oh man, you see that? Oh, look at these graphics, guys. Actually, what we, what we need to do before you activate anything in here, go and have. Uh, oh, well, there's a map here. Grab that. All right, there's our map. If you need it. And here's... Eh, you examine this. Caution, in case of a drop in oil pressure, we're going to open valve one. So, instructions. Alright, alright. Drain that water. Emergency, emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. All right, here we go. You got to do this pretty quick. Release the safety. Control lever. Pull it. Have you guys ever gotten killed here? Let me know. Oh shit. You gotta release the. Oh god. Um. You, it said one. In case of emergency, hit number one. And that does change on your playthrough, so be sure to check that every time. Alright. Gonna release the safety again? Reaching 50% of pressure. Uh, here's the control lever. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. All right. And we got that shut. Perfect. Let's drain the water. All right. What do, what do you think? I'm asked, uh, what do I think is the hardest Resident Evil? Um, I would say. Actually, we don't want that. We're going to, I think we're going to come back. We're going to come back to do, I think, um, Vigil. Uh, gosh, the hardest Resident Evil. Uh, probably Resident Evil. Yeah, I feel like zero. Not, I mean. It feels like items, the way the item manager, if you like the hard mode and all that. Not only, 
you know, the way that the boss is, like, the damage that you take in the game, not just that, but the amount of juggling that you have to do between item management. I feel like it's kind of overcomplicated. Uh, like, if there was, if, if you could, like, have a small item box with, like, maybe five or six slots, seven, that would have been helpful, instead of juggling things across the mansion. It, I don't know if that would be considered hard, but it felt like it took up a lot of time. But, but still, if you don't know the right strategies and all that, God, it felt like Resident Evil Zero is one of the hardest. I can't be sure, though. Like I was saying, Resident Evil 3 gave me a hard time for a while there. Oh, shit, I need to turn that off. Yo, know, just, uh, because I played on hard mode the first time. I can't remember, it's been a while. Go, Veronica. Well... Oh. Uh oh. He's popping. Making some popcorn. I can't say Co Veronica would be the hardest for me. Because I grew up on that game. Like, if I didn't, then maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I felt like combat was really easy. Like, like you can... I don't use the knife, but the knife is really powerful in Co Veronica if you have to use it. I don't know. I'd have to... I think Zero was the harder, the harder one, definitely. Yeah, I don't have problems with Code Veronica anymore. No, I just can't remember. You know, I, I grew up playing. I can't. I cannot remember if it was hard back then. All right, we're getting the hell out of here, guys. Let's see. Head back up this ladder. Oh hell yes. New. Um. Oh god, we're gonna, we are making a point to come back here. But yeah, for the V-Jolt anyway, so... Mm. Okay, we're gonna have to grab that Magnum ammo on the way back. Grab it for extra credit. Hey, what is up? What is up? What is up? Um... Fried shark. <laughs> it's fine. All right. All right, we're about to be out of this whole area. Document. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-Virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-Virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 is two main source of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There's a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling on the first floor. We are sure that it's used to air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe that the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence when it captures its prey or when it's inactive. The vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Good lord. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we've heard the stories from the survivors, they all observe one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its final... <laughs> this is a long document. Internals its a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if was trying to protect itself, why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. Good lord, have mercy. It's telling us that there's a, um... Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, you know, reading that silently is not a problem, but tongue gets twisted after about four sentences, for me. Reading out loud especially, but Plant 42 is, is, is gonna be a problem ahead. It's talking about that its roots are in the basement, and we're gonna have to do something about it if we want 
you know, an extra cutscene. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna listen to the document and come across another one. But first, we're gonna go in here and grab something that we need. A little puzzle piece. All right, I'll read that in just a second. A small puzzle piece is what we need up ahead. And we have not went on the room in the right because we didn't have to yet. We're coming back here anyhow. I guess, or I had planned to. All right, let's go drop a few things. We do. We could have used that key in the door just now, but we use it on the way back. The gallery key. Okay. I'll. Okay. You have a question about this game? I'll definitely know the answer. Just give me a moment. To sort out these items. All right. We're gonna put that defense. I've been carrying this defense gun too long. We're gonna. Okay. All right. Let's put the shotgun shells back. Let's put the shot. Uh, okay. Because I'm competent. Put that back. Because we are going to be doing something with the V-Jolt. Show you guys the epic cutscene that would follow if you do V-Jolt. Alright, you have a question about the game? Or who who or what is the thing with the change that follows you? Alright. Uh, the change is the boss. The name is Lisa Trevor. It has a name. Monster in Change is Lisa Trevor. Oh shit, I should have uh, got the shotgun probably. Yeah, I forgot about this part. Monster, yeah, Lisa Trevor, and there's a lot of documents that talk about her, especially later on in the game. George Trevor, we saw a document about him, we read it a few minutes ago, earlier in this playthrough. Shit, dude. Alright, we took care of him with a handgun, and I'm poisoned. Son of a bitch. Alright, we're gonna need the lighter, just so we can be sure what this code is. Go ahead and grab this bullcrap down here, though. Well... Let's get the herbs. Go. We're going to have to go grab a blue herb anyhow. Oh, if you guys are like me, you always forget the lighter when you need it. And uh, you guys, write down. Save me a lot of trouble and write down what I, uh, what I repeat because I cannot remember this for shit. It's like my short-term memory fails me on this puzzle. If, as long as you write down what I say, I'll get it right. Just a moment here. Help me out in the comments. I'll just be like, okay, write this down for me so I can remember. Let's put those green herbs up. We don't need that shit. We don't need green herbs. Yeah, Lisa, like I was saying, Lisa Trevor is pretty, like the deepest boss in the game. It has a background story and everything about her. Definitely read up on these documents, or I'll read them out loud. I've been reading them on this playthrough. Definitely. It's actually sad in a way, the whole Lisa Trevor story. It's basically a little girl. I forgot her age. If you guys could look that up to know. Definitely a teenager, I think. Lisa Trevor. Alright. Here's where the puzzle comes in, guys. Write this down for me. Uh, okay. Orange. Okay. Yellow is five. Green is six, red is three. All right, the, you know, pay attention to those three balls. And we're gonna light this up. Oh shit, not yet, it's not letting us. All right, number, the orange is the clear eye. Orange is the clear eye. And orange was number, orange was number three, right? Okay. Was that, it said orange, right? Yeah, orange. Orange clear eye three. I believe. Write that down. Clear eyes. Clear eyes three. Clear eyes three. Alright, here's the next one. Number two. Green. Whatever number was green. I'm not good with the balls. And I've played pool before. A strange... Alright. Uh, like, four eyelashes is on green. Does anybody know what ball that was? Just write it down for me. Four eyelashes is on green. Good lord, look at the first eight. Four eyelashes. Green. What number was green? Uh, we're gonna find out. Actually, did somebody... Four eyelashes green. I'm sure someone linked that to the number with me. Tell me what number was green with four eyelashes. My, uh, live memory isn't good. 
Red was... Red was three, right? All right. A strange... All right. Two... Two eyelashes. Two eyelashes was red. Right? All right. Do you guys got me covered? Let me look. Uh... Let's see. Okay. Um... It's gonna be a guessing game if you guys didn't pick up on that. I think we got it. There's <laughs> okay, we'll figure it out. Alright. Two eyelashes. Alright, just drop this stuff in here. Basically you you link the the ball the colors of the three balls with that and all that stuff. And then it's a key to the door down here. Alright. We're not going to put that back. Throw that ammo with the other. Awesome. We got the gallery key. Let's go. Alright. Uh, if I thought of... Yeah. I thought of doing a stream of Until Dawn before. I beat it before, but... I haven't streamed it. Back before I back before I started streaming, I beat until dawn. Good lord, what was? <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Orange five, red three, green six. Okay, good. Mm. It's, uh... Oh god, I just can't remember all those at once. We used the gallery key. We didn't examine it, but it was the gallery key. All right, we're gonna figure out this puzzle door here. Guessing game. God, I can't remember shit. Alright, let's do it. Okay, this is what I was talking about. This is... Orange. I said orange. What was orange? You said orange was five. Right? This two was... Okay... Red. Red was... Uh, red was three. Okay. Four was five. F oh, oh shit, wrong one. Oh, you son of a bitch. Here we go. Guessing game. Lord have mercy. Six. It's the combination of... Okay, there's a six. There's a three. Three. Six. Five. Change that to three. Change that to five. Change that to six. Oh, you son of a bitch. Three. Fuck it, dude. I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to write it down when I get up there. Yeah, but first, we're gonna go in here. Take care of these bees, guys. I knew I wasn't gonna remember that shit. I never do. All right. Clear eyes was orange, and what ball was orange? What ball was freaking orange, dude? Orange was... Yeah, orange was... Okay, do that again. We got the insect spray. Alright. Alright, we took the map, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray these bugs. All right, perfect. Now we can get back in that one area. But first, watch me. Watch me manually put things into the comment. I am going to I am going to jot stuff down in the live stream. The correct answer that I should have did. Going to go examine these things once again just to get it right because the V jolt does give us an ep epic cutscene. That you wouldn't get normally. All right, let's examine. Examine this one. This would be red, guys. All right, we got two eye two eyelashes on red. Let's go examine the balls. The balls. I'm tired of saying the word balls. Examine it once more, and I am going to put this down. All right, three would be what was that? Two eyelashes. Three is two eyelashes. E eyelashes. Ashes. Alright. 
Three is two eyelashes. It would be orange. Orange. Three, two eyelashes would be orange. Okay, yellow would be five. Hardest fucking puzzle ever. Uh, orange would be five. Clear eyes. Clear. Clear orange. Clear orange. Five. Right. Fuck! That's not... Mother of God! Wait, I done fucked it up. The other one was red. This is orange. It's the color. Okay, three, five... Fuck's sake, dude. Uh, three... Three would be... Three is two eyelashes. Okay, there's one. Five clear eyes. Five is clear eyes. Clear eyes is five. Five, five, five. And the other one is self-explanatory. Did I get that right? All right. Three would be, let's check this real quick, just in case. Three would be four. Three would be four. Oh, three would be four. Eyelashes. It's fucked. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. If three was green. If three was green. Fuck! Oh, dude, six is green. Okay. Six is green. Six is green. Six is green. Green eyelashes? Fuck's sake, dude. Alright. Six is green with four eyelashes and orange. Orange would be clear eyes. And orange was five. Five is clear eyes and the other one. Did I already put that, guys? Five is the clear. Clear five orange. Yes, you put it. Good. Alright, I think we got what we need. Clear, clear, clear. Alright. I hate... What is with this puzzle, guys? Something kills me about it. You can do a guessing game and guess it right, but... After a certain amount of time, but damn. Yep, you said five was clear orange. All right, I think we got this. Lord have mercy. Uh, it's hard, guys. This is this per, this puzzle always has given me trouble because you have to remember. Like, the, the, like, you know, I play pool sometimes, but I don't remember the correct coding of the, like, the colors to the balls and all that, dude. And then you get here, and it's like, God, damn, you have to remember three things, five, three, and six, and then, all right, what did I put down? Six is green, four eyelashes. It's like, like, damn, do you remember the colors, or do you remember, and then, uh, three, clear orange is five, clear five and the other was three yeah lord have mercy it's, it's i mean it's not even that hard but damn does it give me problems yeah uh you know you didn't have to look at it's just a matter of it's just a matter of um you know taking your time and getting it right but damn i do know this though this is pretty easy for me this v jolt we're just gonna need a few jars Grab the other one, get back in here. I'm gonna go put this book in here for demonstration. Yeah. No, I. The, that puzzle. Yeah, the puzzle always gives me a little, little bit of problem. Sometimes I just get down here and guess until I get it right. But you do have to remember the colors to that, and then the eyes, and it's it does get confusing. For me, at least, I'm sure it gets confusing to others that's played this. 
And it's not even a hard puzzle, it's the thing. Alright. Yeah, I played this endlessly too. But I definitely, I wouldn't have messed up that much if it was not live, that's for sure. Alright. The similarities, this is talking about how to make V-Jolt as rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the um, UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. So basically, it's telling us, you know, to mix these things to make the V-Jolt. And, you know, here's our list right here. That's what we're going to do with the jars. All right. I don't believe there's anything on the room. It's just the bathroom on the room to the right. All right. Here we go. Make that V-Jolt. We're going to make the poison for the plant. Okay. On the wall here, it says mix. It says you're going to mix one with three equals four. So one would be water right here. Fill the empty bottle with water. Three is right here. Number three. Take some. There we go. Combine three with one. We have number four. You know, just add that up, I guess. And here we go with this. Yellow number six. Take some. Hell yes, we will. Examine the wall. It says six. Four plus six is ten. So we're just going to mix, mix four with... Six, that would give us number 10. All right. And it's saying we're going to mix one and six, water and three again, I believe. We're going to have to grab a third jar. All right. It said one and six. It is seven. Here we go back to six. Grab some and put it in the jar. Number six. Yellow number six mixed with number one. That gives us seven. And I believe we are going to mix the number seven with the <laughs> number ten. I'm horrible at math. Oh, this is number ten. Let's mix that with number seven. Now we have number seventeen. Look at the well again. Number 17 plus 3. So we are going to mix this with UMB number 3. Take some. All right. We are going to mix it and make our V-Jaw. Yay. Heck yeah. Now I made up for that other puzzle. There we go. I've earned it. I've earned it back, guys. There we go. I'm feeling complete now. Perfect. Nothing else in here, right? You have to be a rocket scientist for this one. But the other one... I feel like the other one should be a children's puzzle when I get that one. Alright. Let's go. Alright guys, let me show you what we're going to do with that V-Jolt. We still have the book, but let's take care of that in a minute. We're going to go take care of this plant, guys. Yeah, it is weird. I'm calm in the scary parts of the game, but when it comes to puzzles, it makes me mad if I don't get it right the first time. I think it's because it's so much pressure being live, and and whenever it comes to a puzzle, you should do that shit quick. Because I have endless experience in this game, but they do sometimes, I think they mix those eyes up so it's never the same number. Or I think they alternate it between two, some two different combinations maybe. But good lord. Yeah, like getting that wrong so many times. <laughs> It's ridiculous. It messed me up. It only cost us like five minutes. That's that's cool. All right. We can't go that way. I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, since we drained the water, you can't get across anymore. Those boxes that we pulled, pushed to me. So we have to go around here, down the ladder. Oh lord. Oh, hmm. We have Magnum ammo to pick up, guys. Remember? Oh yeah. I remember. I remember. Uh, and we're gonna <laughs> have to find a way to discard these damn jars first. And I believe we can do it down here. Why did I? Okay, I still have the lighter. That's okay. I think we can discard these jars in a moment. Actually, it's this. Did I go backwards, guys? No, it's this way. Good. 
I was about to say, did I hit a 180 and go backwards? What the hell? Here we go. We can get that. We can get that first aid uh, box there. Whatever's in that. It's probably first aid spray. All right, let's go. Take care of this plant, guys. We made the poison. Now, if you were doing a, if you were doing a speed run, you wouldn't want to go through this vigil. You would not want to waste your time if you're doing a speed run. But I love it because it gives us an extra cutscene. I guess it was worth the trouble. Oh, oh, good lord. Here we go. There he is. Let's use that. Oh, yeah. Weaken that son of a bitch. All right. You probably don't need the bottle anymore. Hell yeah, throw that away and throw the other two, please. All right, there's control system. Eh, it's like the only thing we can examine in here. Perfect. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's go back where we came from. We're going to take care of it now. This plant. Talk about plant 42 in the documents. That's what we're going to meet in just a second. Heading back there now, guys. Uh, let's grab that just for extra credit. Hell yes. All right, let's go. Let's go, let's go. What... What's you guys, your guys, uh, what's the hardest puzzle for you in Resident Evil? I'm interested to know. What do you think is the hardest Resident Evil puzzle, period? Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> Alright. Get this Magnum ammo, don't let me forget. Hell yes, we will take it. We will take it. Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. All right. Let's go. Yeah, I think especially because it's like my favorite, like probably my favorite game of all time. Getting a puzzle wrong is, re <laughs> it really is frustrating. It's like forgetting how to tie your own shoes in public or something. Like, what the hell? Because that's the amount of times I've played this. A lot of people, well, if you're not sure, a lot of people say there's a puzzle in Resident Evil 3 that was the hardest for them. Alright. Take care of this. We are heading into danger, guys. Here we go. You ready for the epic cutscene? You can only get this if you do V-Jolt. And it's totally worth it to me. Alright. See those books there? We're gonna put this one. Use it. Reorder. Alright. Reorder again, guys. Mix this with this. Can you see what we're building yet? Alright. Masterpiece. Okay. Oh, here we go, guys. Nothing over here. Just examining that plant's taking... Yeah, see a giant plant is crushing the wall. Plant has taken over this whole damn place, guys. All right, let's go. this thing Barry Jill
thought it was finished. Yeah. That was close. Thanks again. Don't mention it. But what was that? What the hell's going on in this place? Totally worth it. Barry took down Plant 42. We did not have to fight another boss battle. If you play this game, you you realize you can skip some like we can run past a snake and now Plant 42 Barry. Amazing. Thank you, Barry. Look at him. Standing there like a pro. Let's see what he says. All right, Barry, thank Barry. you. Something about that mansion still bothers me. But I think I'll stay here a little longer. We should split up again and investigate. <laughs> All right. Split up and look for clues. Split up. Barry's keeping an eye on the surrounding area. Hell yeah. Barry loves to stay back. Like, I'll stay here and take care of this, Jill. Awesome stuff. If you were to go back in there in that room, he's still there. In fact, I'll show you exactly what happens if you were to go back and look at him again. Plant 42. Alright. Yep. Go back in here and see. Barry. I think I'll stay here a little longer. <laughs> he loves to hang around. Barry is examining the floor. <laughs> That's funny. Just like in the first of the game, he's examining the blood. He loves to examine that floor. Alright. Have you guys ever have you guys ever used V Jolt on the plant? Or do you go and fight him? Let me know. Do you fight the plan or do you use Vigil? All right, we're out of here, guys. That was the last. We got the key to get the hell back in the mansion. It's raining. It's a storm out here where I'm where I'm at. Damn. Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. I apologize. It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. I understand. Anyway, it's good that you're safe. Did you notice? Barry, you sounded a little flaky. Now that you mention it, yeah. I'll keep a close eye. Maybe it's quite natural under these circumstances. It's not really our standard operation. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. I agree. There are still rooms in that mansion we can't get into because they're locked up. I've been looking for ways to... Okay, if there's anything, I'll go back to the other mansion. I'm counting on you. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. Yes, it is hunter time. Good lord have mercy. They're, I'm telling you guys, they don't screw around here. So, I am saving it. I am saving it before the damn hunt. Oh my god. Like, seriously. They can really screw it. Like, on a no-save run, to me, it's like the hardest part of the game. Because I believe they have fatality moves. Good god, yeah. Man, you're not joking. Alright. Yeah, if you guys hear thunder, it's actually happening at, at my house, just like in this game. There's a storm happening in the game, too, so... Very... Uh, it feels like I have atmosphere going on. Same as this game. Alright. Let's take this and... It'd be a bitch if the power shut off on me. Alright, let's throw this back, throw that back. Grab the... What, what, what do you guys think? What's the best gun to take care of? Oh, man. You guys hear that? Freaking atmosphere. Just like this. Thunder. All right. Yeah, a short shotgun. You know what? I'm going to take that. We're going to use that defense gun and just get it out of the way. Use it on a hunter for sure. All right, guys. I think we're good to go. Good to go. Because we're going to dive to the magic. You know, save the game like I was talking. Hell yeah. Last thing we want is to have to be put back, you know, before the V jolt. <laughs> that would suck. Okay, okay, let's save it here. You hate, you hate Albert and Alex Wesker. Oh goodness. All right. Let's go past the blue screen. Get past this blue screen. All right, let's head to the mansion, guys. We are headed to the mansion. Back to the awesome atmosphere of the mansion. Love that mansion. Let's go. We're probably going to want to... Uh, 
We're gonna want to take a blue herb for extra credit. Just in case. Alex Wesker, what did what did the rest of you guys think of Alex Wesker? Yo, they did mention Alex Wesker in Resident Evil 5. Someone said that you someone said that you didn't really miss anything in Resident Evil 5, but you do miss some some documents pointing towards revelations too and all that. Miss some documents very important to the game. Definitely fun fun stuff, you know, documents that you can get very good information on. And one did mention Alex Wesker, who we saw in Revelations 2, I believe. This is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha Team. Come in. This is Jill. Does anybody hear me? I hear you, Brad. Over. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. Doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Brad. Brad? Brad. This is Brad. Can't answer me. Somehow give me a sign. Jill to Brad. Can you hear me? Brad. Brad. Is not Shit. there. It's broken. She beat the dead horse with that. Brad. This is Jill. All right, Jill. That's a good thing you don't give up trying to contact Brad, though. I'm gonna grab that later. Well, I don't even know we'll need it. Red herb. Ooh. Oh, goodness. Let's go. Holy crap. He's catching up. Catching up. Catching up. I can't tell you how many times I've beat Resident Evil 5, though. I'm I'm pretty amazing at that. Very, uh, you know, I'll never talk bad about 5 or 4 or any of that. You know, a lot of people have problems with it, but I'll never, I'll never talk bad about 5 or 4. But I definitely prefer the classics. Like all, all, all uh, classic players. Yeah, I was just showing you, I was just showing you where the crank would have gone. Because we'll be coming back here later. That's how we got through this area to begin with. Drain the water. Oh shit, dude. Here we go. Here we go. Those dogs are tame tonight. Yeah, that Wesker boss battle in Resident Evil 5 was amazing. Just like Josh says, amazing. I, I, I beat Wesker pretty damn fast in that ending, though. Okay, oh, look at all these items here. Let's read this. Use this thing. Use this thing to protect yourself from that bulletproof thing and chains. I went ahead and fixed that piece of crap door, too, Barry. Thank you, Barry. Thank you, Barry. You fixed the door for us, guys. God, that's why Barry is one of my, if not my favorite Resident Evil character ever. I would never tell, like I say, I'll never choose Chris or Leon one over the other. Alright. Perfect. We got what we need. No! Oh, oh my god! Uh, okay, I do. Mm, I'll tell you guys. I ran from him because he has fatality killed me before. Right after that cutscene, it is a habit to run away from that son of a bitch. No, oh, Lord have mercy. There's another one. There's like fifty, and I can't hit the right buttons. Um, 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 um okay, okay. Whew. Uh, you guys, you, <laughs> you gotta realize these hunters are problems. Oh. oh good lord dude he's jumping okay we're safe for a moment and uh, running here for a second okay oh whew, okay um let's put the oh did you hear that 
just like the atmosphere in the game, we have a storm. It has not stormed here in like, like two months. Jeez. All right. Let's take. I'm gonna. Oh goodness. Okay, we got the key. Whew. I'll read that chat in just a second. God, this is nerve-wracking, guys. I'm gonna carry around that defense item. I think I'm gonna use it on this hunter right out here. Honestly. If we don't get... Oof. I'm not even gonna jinx myself. Just run out here and do it. The more time I waste, the better the chances are that I'm killed here. Please don't miss. Do not miss. Use this one shot. Let's get him. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, he sounds bad. Uh, oh! Yes! That is what you do with the defense gun, guys. I can't, I couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier. Except for that one hunter out there in the hallway. That's the most dangerous one, guys. Leave him alone. <laughs> I, I don't know, I may take care of him later, but starting to think maybe I should just avoid him period mix up our oh good god look at that shotgun ammo we're doing better on ammo than I thought much better check that chat in just a minute as soon as I get my next moves down we got one good herb perfect 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 uh, we're gonna run out of slots though let's just go ahead and mix this with that and put the handgun ammo up you know what? Mix the shotgun and put maybe put that up. Perfect. Perfect, 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 guys. We're going to collect that again on our crisscross between the mansion. We're going in the new rooms, guys. Here we go. Here we go. All right. I'll read that in just a moment. You, uh... He's talking about drinking something. Tea or something. I'll read that. I didn't catch it. All right, loading door. I only drink ice, iced in water, and only have soda with my lunch and dinner. Okay, great. Use the mansion. I, I don't feel complete unless I examine the keys, which uh, is fun to do. Helmet key, guys. So now you get the notifications that you're using helmet key instead of mansion key. Uh, the hunters. Oh. Oh, hang on. You're asking? Let's see. Let me go ahead and start pushing this and I'll see what you're saying. Uh, you were asking about iced tea. If I drink iced tea, I don't. I yeah, I used to, but not anymore. Now, honestly, I don't. I don't drink any sodas or anything. Like I don't, you know, as less less as I can. I kind of stick with water. Water and water and a few things like that sodas the reason I don't go with sodas is you know enamel on the teeth could uh, cause some problems you know would continue you know a couple a soda every now and then is okay but I just got used to not drink them I guess all right health talk nutrition yeah, it does give you some energy good old sodas Good. That's what they're great for. All right, we got a dagger. Hell yes, guys. Hell yeah, we're going down. We're gonna progress. I have a feeling we're about to beat this whole game in one night, guys. What do you guys think about that? Good idea. I think so. Let's see here. Metal is hidden inside the book. Medal of Eagle. Oh, let's, I can't get out. I've tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tube is filled with formaldehyde. I know that word is never pronounced right. And those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do? At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe on the corridor. It was like reflex. One name came to my mind. Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No! I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? 
I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have just... I should have known better. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel and another dead end. But even in the darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave, but deeply engraved into the stone was my name, George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. George Trevor. 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 Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Asking about Lisa Trevor. George Trevor. Jessica Trevor. Lisa Trevor is a family. And guess what? George Trevor was, you know, apparently he was buried here. Lisa Trevor was his daughter, right? His wife would be Jessica. And all three of them, it's, a sad, it's sad because you get a background about all three. George Trevor, he designed this whole mansion, right guys? I believe so. I believe so. They've mentioned George Trevor in later games. Whew, that'd be a hard, uh, hard quiz for you guys. I'm trying to pick up the damn shotgun shells. How many games has George Trevor been mentioned in? You guys know that? Oh, pop quiz. I'd be interested to know because I've read him in different games. Uh, mansion B1 and I am about to get spit on by a spider. Did I take- okay, good, took it. Alright. Oh, you little shit. Eh, that did poison me, guys. Yes, it did. Did I? Oh, I didn't even bring a blue herb, damn me. What am I doing? Maybe we'll be one around the corner. Um. Ooh, lord. Talking about them drinks still. Alright. Drink it. Okay, blue herb. Let's heal. Don't waste any time healing, guys. Especially when you're poisoned. If you got a blue herb, we use it. Alright, down goes a zombie. Uh, defense item. Should we use it? Yeah, maybe for extra credit. Alright. We're not getting that shit back. If you blow up their heads, you get the defense item back. Which is pretty freaking awesome, guys. Heck yeah. I think we took care of them. Oh man, we only got four bullets. What am I thinking? I should have brought my extra ammo, alright? Alright, there's a red herb. We're gonna take that on the way out of here. Power supply for the elevator. Remember the elevator I showed you guys earlier? Well, we're going there. We're going there. Elevator. I think that's the reason I went there in the kitchen earlier. Remember? You will in a second. That's the route we're gonna take. Now, if we if we were to go straight, uh, you'd you'd see that there's a door ripped off the hinges, and the hunters are doing that. No, can't mix more than 10. Oh, shit. But I usually want to go straight to the elevator. Okay, that's four. It's empty. Why did I use them? Oh, goodness. Okay. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should risk it and show you guys real quick. I'm gonna, okay, this is dangerous, but I'm doing it. Um, oh, what am I thinking, guys? I want to show you that this mansion actually changes, like the door can be ripped off the hinge. Totally gets rid of a loading screen door. Very, very cool. Okay, if I can turn around and get the hell out of here fast enough. Let me, um... Oh, see? Oh, okay. Have you noticed that door? Oh, God. Here we go. Okay. If you notice that door is gone, no loading screen door, guys. Awesome stuff. We can just run right through it. Okay. Just a small thing that I appreciate. Let's get past this zombie and go to the elevator now. Did you guys ever notice that before? Let me know. Because I think if you go the other way around, the door's still on. If I were to go up this elevator without going there first, I think the door stays up. Alright. 
Yes, it is getting a headshot in this game. I don't depend on that. Is it weird that I only drink milk and milkshakes? Eh, no, no, not, not at all, not really. Yeah, does some good stuff for the bones. Better than, uh, you know, water is very good for you. It should do. Yeah, drink, uh, definitely mix in some water, I'd say. Between your milkshakes. If you can. Alright, alright. Water. People's like, oh god, I don't like the taste of water. And you're like, why? It don't taste and then they say it don't taste like anything. And you're like well then why do you dis why do you dislike it if it don't taste like anything? Alright. Let's blow this one up, I guess. Defense item for extra credit? No. We're in caution, dude. What if I miss the... Mm -mm. That's bad. That is bad. Don't like to waste more than one on them. Alright. Okay, okay. Let's go see what's in here. Perfect shotgun shells. We got some flame rounds to the right. And what we're going to do is we're going to go... We're, we're in here for the battery, guys. But also... All right, I'll leave you guys a choice. You determine my next move. Should we go and uh, should we go fight the snake, or should we go to the elevator and go to the caves first? All right, let me know. Elevator, or should we fight the snake and get that out of the way first? I'm coming back for the grenade. The uh, well, we're gonna come back from the flame rounds. Perfect. All right, let me know. Fight the snake, or avoid it for a while. I think we have the ammo to take care of it. I just want to go in the direction you guys would like. Now, from experience in this area, I highly recommend that you stick with this path. And If you go out here, there is hunters all over there. You can get fatality killed in no time. I recommend going through here. That's what we're doing now. Lord have mercy, but we gotta deal with him! Okay, let's get turned around. Oh! I think it's oh, I think it's better to deal with them than the hunter guys. Man, 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 still pretty rough. What am I running around on caution for? Okay. All right. Let's see what you see. Oh goodness. One person says elevator and the other one says snake. Alright. Let's see. I guess it will be up to me then. Helmet key guys. We're gonna have to grab something out of there. There are a few things left to do. We can take care of everything in the mansion and then go to the elevator or we can go to the elevator first. All right. I'm tempted to fight. Well, maybe, maybe we should fight the snake then. Get to, get him out of the way. But first, we're gonna want to go grab them flame rounds and then head to him. Also, let's take care of this puzzle room real quick. Let's go ahead and get the things out of the deer's the deer eyes. I believe that's what they are. All right. So uh, we're gonna need handgun ammo, but. Let's run up here first. Let's run up here to the helmet key room we just unlocked. Alright. What we're going to do is if we are fighting the snake right now, I'm probably going to want to do a save. You know, I trust myself with the snake, but you never know when you're doing a live playthrough. Anything can happen. Especially you guys saw that with the puzzle earlier. Alright. Hate for that to happen with the snake, too. Yawn the snake. That is his code name. Code name Yawn. Alright. Here's a good dagger. Document there. We're just gonna go ahead and push these and then turn the lights off. 
every time that eagle turns like that, he locks the jewel in place. And I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Get off the damn box, Jill. Let's hit the lights. Hit the light. Alright, hit the switch. Alright, now it's glowing red. What happens is he locks on. And you can't take it out. So, run under the... Run under the eagle. Like that, I guess. I'm fast enough. Oh, I got it! Okay, did I get it? Oh, that was too close. Yellow gemstone. That's <laughs> not even a second. Red. If you go under the eagle, it, like, he's not that fast, but... Dang. Can I get that? Oh. We definitely want those grenade rounds, guys. Push that shit out of the way so we can get it. Give us them grenade rounds. That's what we're after. Uh, I think... I think acid rounds... Acid rounds are amazing on both hunters and the snake. So we're gonna come back for that as soon as we're... We're heading right to the snake anyway. Mel to the chief of security. X day is drawing up on us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. Lure stars into the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data against stars. Two, collect two embryos of each mutated specimen as samples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. Ensure complete disposal of the R. Clay laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. If for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to extension number 5691. Good luck, Umbrella Headquarters. Perfect. Perfect. Good documents. Let's see. I am not sure. I will check the time in a minute. Yes, what time it is where I'm from. It is late. It is late. But sometimes I stay awake late. Stay awake late. It's easy to stay awake late when you're either playing or watching Resident Evil. For sure. We're going to go ahead and uh, well, we're going to use the yellow. I think. Oh gosh, we don't need all this. Let's put the battery back. I don't know why I'm carrying it. Load some handgun ammo. And we're about to take on Mr. Snake. Yawn the snake. Not solid snake. Let's put this back. Yeah, shotgun. We got plenty of shotgun ammo. Uh, shotgun and our mix some handgun. Let's mix that. I don't know. Just depend on the shotgun, I guess. I don't want to take too many trips to the item box. Let's grab the shotgun. Just do it. Just depend on it like this. Whatever we have in the handgun, we'll use that on the snake and then take care of the rest of the shotgun. Acid rounds are very good against the snake, though. Highly recommend using acid on it. I guess. As no, save acid for hunters, honestly. I dropped in some of bitches in one hit. Perhaps I should use it on that one that's keeping us from exiting the mansion again. Oh, yeah. Let's see, I'll check, I'll check the time now while it's, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it is, it is two, yeah, almost three here where I'm from. Yes, it is. Almost three. But we are closing in on it, closing in on the ending of the game, for sure. I'll try to keep it fast-paced. Alright, we got what we need. Let's just carry along these, uh, you know what, we're gonna put the red back. Put the red back for a moment. And I believe we have what we need for the snake. Perfect. Can't imagine I'll... Alright, you know what? Just just in case, grab that. Let's go. Alright. Alright. Perfect. Oh, okay. Oh my god, he almost got me. Oh... I hate when they do the fatality moves, though. I don't think... You know, when they charge up... I think when they charge up, you can get hit, like, drop really quick. Fatality. Yeah, no, I, I try to run from them. I usually always run from the hunters. For some reason, I feel like trying to show off since I'm live, but that shit gets you killed, man. 
All right, here's the tiger. Tiger, tiger, tiger. We use the yellow. But we can also bring a blue in here. Okay, there's the disc. Find out what that's for in a, you know, in a bit. All right, tiger, go back into place. Maybe we should, if it's safe, we can get the, oh, I don't even know if it's safe, guys. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, I'm trying to, oh, man. Since that door is knocked off the hinges, I wonder if I'm going to have to deal with a hunter now. Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we're going to have to deal with a hunter right here. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you hear him? Shit. Run. Okay. He will. Uh, oh, man. Usually he'll step in the center of the hall so you can't do nothing. You have to fight him. You see, did you guys see that? What I was talking about? The loading screen door is gone now. All right, we're going to run back in there with a the blue gem. Damn, that's dangerous. Shit. It's too dangerous, guys. What the hell am I thinking? Why the hell am I doing this? This for a little ammo? I'll show you how it's uh, done, I guess. With the tiger. It's way too damn risky, guys. You know what? Screw it. Lord have mercy. Run around the long way. Then. We're just going to run up these steps. The good thing about... Amazing thing about this game is you can take... You can make your own routes. Plan your strategy. If you if you need to, do an alternate route. If you're not feeling very confident about it. If you're running low on ammo. Look what we're doing here. We're probably going to deal with a zombie, but that's better than one hit fatality killed with a hunter. And uh, beating this game on no save, that's a lot of pressure. When those hunters come out and about. Wait, what did I come in here for? Okay. Oh, fuck me. I'm going to have to deal with a bunch of hunters now if I go this way. Oh, Lord, dude. See? I, I'm getting ahead of myself, guys. Sit here, start talking shit. Like, oh, we'll just go around. We'll just go around. I forgot these hunters came through, dude. I'm about to fucking do the most amazing shit you've ever seen. Oh my god, have mercy, that was a fatality! Ah! Oh! That was another gonna be fatality, guys! If they hit you, when they do that, it's over. It would have been- Oh my good god. All that for something we don't need? What am I trying to do? What am I proving? Alright, after this, snake time. Why the hell did I feel it necessary to even do all this shit? There's no way, no way in hell I would have done this if this were not live. Alright, we're gonna just have to get past one more hunter before the snake, so... One more, just give us one more chance. One more. That's all we need. One more. It's always the last one that gets you. The last one's always the problem. Oop, I just wanted to reset him. He was already after me. Head in here, back out, and up to the stake. Perfect. Alright. You guys wouldn't believe it. this is the most um, <laughs> really gets the blood flow pumping. He's right behind me. All right, let's go. Perfect. Whew. Yeah, snake definitely one of my favorite boss battles ever. The snake. All right, let's go. Snake time. No more hunters. Not right now, anyway. Yeah, that's uh, stair surfing. When I was talking about, if you hit. Repeatedly hit square. You can dash up the steps. Or circle if that's your running button. Alright, snake. Snake time. Alright, let's go. Yep, that's stair serving what speedrunners do if you're using alternate controls. I mean, uh, you know, same controls. 
alternate controls are the easy controls, guys. Let's go. Yeah, I prefer, like I was saying earlier, I prefer the original controls, classic controls. Because if you grew up playing these games, you have no business. I don't think we have any business to use the new controls. Makes it too easy, guys. Alright, let's go. Like it controls like Resident Evil 6 or something if you use new controls. All right, let's go. Okay, snake. Oh, forgot. There we go. I knew it. I knew you'd be there, dude. Fucking dick. All right, let's go. Pain in the ass. All right. Handgun for extra. Ooh, I shouldn't be doing too much extra credit. Didn't pack enough health. Where are you at? There he comes. Believe it or not, I've killed the son of a bitch with a knife before, guys. Doubt I'd ever be able to do that alive, but... Oh, you shit! Did I hit a bookcase? Oh, no, I hit a book. No. Okay, he's turning. Okay. Follow me. You gonna... Okay. Ah! Uh, oh, luck. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Luck. Mm -mm -mm. All right. There we go. I feel like I have dodged. I have dodged fatalities and getting killed way too many times. My luck's gonna run out, guys. Okay, we're gonna mix some herbs in. Tell me I don't tell me that. I'm gonna actually just use one. No need to mix two for yellow caution. We are gonna make a big green herb if we need the space in a second. Yes, mix that with that. Show you guys what's in here. Eagle of South, Wolf of North. There is an emblem inside. A medal inside the book. Perfect. Medal of Wolf. Yes, there's a special way to use it. Let's go. We're going to figure that out. Not too much longer. We'll be putting that somewhere. Putting the Medal of Eagle and Medal of Wolf. We got both now, guys. Perfect. All right. Head out of here. And now, one more room. And I think that takes care of the whole mansion. Second part of the mansion. Yeah, definitely the snake has always been one of my favorite boss battles ever. Someone mentioned that. That's your favorite boss battle? That and the tyrant. Those two are amazing to me. Remember guys, we left some flame rounds. We left some flame rounds over here on the left. I'd be a fool to leave them. Especially whenever I intend to use it. Sneak in here and take them. Let's get the hell out of here. Try to avoid all the hunters. Good lord. I'm seriously gonna have to get past them again, I guess. Unless there's a... Let me think here. Alright. Yes, we're gonna have to go past another hunter. Jesus. Oh, uh, what was that? I got acid I get. I thought that was flame rounds for a second. It looked like red at first glance. Alright, let's hope we can get... Oh, man. Let's get past that damn haunter, guys. Oh, there's no way we can save. We have to go past him one more time before we can even save the game. We're surrounded by hunters. Oh, 
this man it's so damn intense I really I do not like you know there's there's things out here that can fatality kill us even when we're on green health can I even oh man can I even get to the store in time no unequip everything you can't I think you can run a little faster if you have no weapons equipped oh my gosh let's hope we can get past this honor it's all we need. All we need to do. Oh, yes! Yes! Perfect. Perfect. Alright. One more mansion room and we're out of here. Down to the elevator. Whew. Okay. Well, I could save in here, but... I think we took care of all the hunters on this side, right? Well, do I, um... Hmm, <laughs> Okay. I don't even know if I have any ink ribbons in the item box. I'll just, uh... I'll save in that center hall, I guess. Shit, if I even pick up anything. Oh, shit. Running so, um... Hmm. Not too much shit, dude. Haven't stopped to the item box in a while. All right, we'll figure it out. Perhaps, yeah, I think there's some ink ribbons. Maybe one at least. Oh, shit, I forgot about you. Shotgun. All right, defense item. Dagger. Perfect. We're after this. Hell, yes, we're taking it. Eh, I guess we'll leave the green herb. No need. Alright. Yeah, Snake. <laughs> snake got knocked out. Okay. Well, there is an ink ribbon in there, but... Oh, gosh. I just can't remember if we have any item box. I don't want to crisscross around the mansion again. Try to keep it fast-paced. I'd be pissed if there are hunters in this hallway up here. Man, man, man. Are there? Don't think so. I hope not. I'd rather burn an herb and save before this. Okay. Shit, dude. I'm using way too much shotgun. No, we still got 20... There we go. Ah, uh, poor Crimson. He's been alive so long, guys. We've had him alive the whole game. And I just, I just ruined it. Just killed him. Damn it. Okay, no hunters. No hunters. Okay. I do remember where an ink ribbon is, though, if we need it in here. Perfect. I just want to say, before I go out in this hallway, I definitely want to say, because that one hunter has me nervous. Always a problem, that one. That was very stupid of me to go all that way just to put the gem in that tiger's eye. But we did it. Like a pro. No, okay. Just gonna need two. I might take care of that one hunter with that acid round. Let's go grab this grab this ink ribbon first though. Just in case. Show you how effective that acid round really is on hunters. Tell you guys. I think it drops them in one hit. Let's grab this ink ribbon right out of here before I do anything dumb. I just don't want to dodge the hunter twice again. Alright, let's um Yep, in here. All right. Here's it. There it is. You said it. You said it would have been nice to. Let me read that. It would have been nice to have a snake Easter egg in Resident Evil Seven. That would have been interesting. That would have been interesting. 
I honestly, uh, I almost want to, I want to know what it would be like to fight the snake with Resident Evil 7, like, 7's pacing and first-person perspective. I think it would actually be a very intense boss battle, like, come, like, if it were, you know, in the style of Resident Evil 7. Good lord, it'd be harder than this, too. It'd be a lot harder, you know, to avoid that. All right. Before we save, we're gonna get this stupid, uh, this thing out of the way. If this, if this jewel puzzle gives you problems, trust me, it used to give me problems, or I'm about to show you the trick to never have a problem with it again. Alright. We're gonna combine this jewel with this, and it's gonna spit out the puzzle. Trust me, you won't have a problem after you see this. It used to give me problems, alright. So what we're gonna do, all you have to do is you're gonna put it there and make make sure you slide it in like at the very bottom of the edge every time. That's all there is to it. Put it here, slide it to the edge. Because if you don't, you're gonna run out of room on the last piece. Um, let's take this one. Put it here, slide it to the edge. This one, uh, put it there, slide it to the edge. It don't matter if there's a space, put it there. Okay, I did not. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Okay, well, we're gonna go back to this one and slide it a little. Uh, here, take that. Slide it that way then, and up. Perfect. As you can tell, I made myself look like a fool. Take this, and sl all you have to do is uh, slide it. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Because last time I played... It, oh, did I, did I give it room? Alright. You just have to make sure to slide everything away, I guess. Lord have mercy. Oh, it, it locked in, dude. There we go. It's still a channel. I mean, you just have to slide everything in the edges and make space. You just remember the edges, I guess. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm doing it right. Trust me, I'm doing it right. Alright, time to save. Yeah, I wanted to get that jewel out of the way, so if the hunter did kill me, I wouldn't have to do that again. Alright, alright. Let's go and see what the acid round does to this hunter exactly. I think it will do something good. Some bitch don't dodge it. Alright, blue screen ahead is coming through. Not for long, blue screen. All right, let's throw this back. Good lord, there's a lot of items here too. Acid rounds. Take. All right, there's our good grenade launcher. Let's mix it with the acids. Combine with that. And let's just put this back. And um, yeah, let's mix the shotgun shells and put that back. Let's throw the Shotgun ammo away. We're not gonna need any more than 10. Let's go. Let's equip that though. Let's hope the hunter don't kill me in one hit. Son of a bitch. Oh man, it's trouble. It's like the worst hunter in the game right here. Oh, thankfully. I thought I was gonna say the door now was locked. Remember Barry fixed this for us, guys. That note on the way back. Oh! The magic of the acid rounds. And I believe... God, it felt like he was about to do a fatality kill on me, man. One second later, I think he would have killed me there. You can always tell when they're going to one-hit kill you when they charge up for a second. Alright, too dark to see anything, but here's a light. Very close calls in this game. All right, we got the metal object. Battery. Hell yeah, defense item. We're gonna need it. Biology-related books, and let's look in this. Hell yeah, shotgun shells. There we go. Take this, and let's get the hell out of here. Don't need to wait. Uh, we do need to go back for that battery. Almost, almost cost us a trip back, guys. We're just gonna run in there and grab that battery. Mm, that's an easy thing to forget. 
It's easy to forget the lighters and the batteries. Don't forget the lighter. Definitely don't forget the battery. You'll have to run past those dogs twice. All right, unless you kill the dogs, of course. All right, let's go. Let's grab the battery. There you are. Oh, and the, oh, don't forget the crank. Last thing you want to do is forget that crank. Perfect. Let me just put that back, I guess. All right, well, we don't need this right now either. Put that back. Just give me, give me the shotgun back. Perfect. And uh, let's just go ahead and put the acid rounds back. No, screw that. Let's take it. All right, let's go. Just carrying a grenade launch for extra credit. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go. No hunters now. I'll be reading that in just a second. Let's get the battery and the crank put in. Battery? Remember, you gotta. You definitely need to. You don't. You, okay. We'll figure out when I get there. Sorry to explain. Just go to the crank area. Something that you can always mix up when you're down here. Oh shit, it, it would have been handy to bring, uh, god, should have brought a blue herb, right? Damn. We're gonna be struggling if we get poison. I should have unequipped that. There's a blue herb, though. Dogs aren't that hard to take care of. I mean, but the, I mean, they're dogs. Why would you want to kill the zombie dogs? Why would you want to kill them? Okay, so there's the crank. You don't want to turn it just yet. Because we're going to go around first. And then we're going to use the crank handle. Kind of a small puzzle, I guess you could say. And like, just like that, we're poisoned. Freaking shits. How do you not get bit by these things? Is there a way? I mean, you could probably stop and start firing your weapon, but... Damn, that's a lot of trouble. I always get bit by them. How about you guys? You guys get bit by those little snakes? It's hard to avoid. I don't know how. As many oh. times I played this... Okay. Battery here. Then we're gonna ride this up. That was the battery for this elevator. Perfect. Now I'm gonna turn the crank. Well, we gotta make it past the dogs one more time. Move. Holy mother... Go, oh, come on now. Trying to... Uh, okay. Okay! Trying to swerve, but... <laughs> that was not the path I planned to take. Trust me. I know it looked professional and all of me running into that pole, but... That's not what I meant to do. Alright, let's do this. Here's where the crank goes. Alright. Oh shit, poison's... Oh man. Wait, wait. Yep. See what we're doing is we're... We're filling this water back up. The waterfall won't be there and we can go under that waterfall. There was another area. See, it says the waterfall seems to have stopped. Back down the elevator and hope that we can heal ourselves in time. There's a blue herb out here. Maybe we can just grab it? If the dogs don't kill us? It's, uh... It's quite a risk, honestly. No, let's just... Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's... Uh, let's use it. They're gonna kill me here if... Yes, hell yeah. That was a pain in the ass. Unequip that damn gun, so I have to run a little faster. Oh, you status. Okay, caution. Probably not anymore, but okay. So we have that for. Let's run. That's the the price you pay for leaving the dogs alive. They'll get you in the end. They'll get you. Is 
the hell out of here then. This is where this unlock. No waterfall. Perfect. That's what the crank did for us, guys. Perfect. Let's go. The music is creepy. Which music? What music? Which one? I think we've encountered three different ones since I last checked the chat here. Alright, we're just going to mix that with that. What do you guys recommend against the spider? I know you don't have to fight him, but I feel like I probably should. As I think fire probably does good on the spider. I wonder if I should just... Eh, just like blast him with a few magnum rounds or something. Or maybe this is the shotgun. I'm not sure. What do you guys recommend that I do to the spider? Well, let's see here. Lord, I haven't picked up half the health items, right? Let's mix a couple of things. Combine that with that. I'm definitely gonna... I will save it as we continue. Because I don't want to get killed by a freaking, you know, boulder. A rock. That would suck. Let's go ahead and save that real quick. Yeah, if you guys know what I'm talking about up here. You know, if you, if you don't run straight, you can get crushed by a rock. Let's hope I can do it. Let's hope I can do it. We're on the final stretch of the game at this point, guys. We are closing in on it. We're beating it in one night. Closing in on the ending. Here we go with the blue screen. Oh, in the storeroom? The storeroom music is creepy. Alright, put this ink ribbon back. Probably just going to want to mix the flame rounds. Yeah, I know you don't have to fight the spider, but... kind of just want to get his ass out the way. Alright, how many shotgun shells we have? Alright, about ready to move forward here. Um, probably want to take an extra health just in case. Yeah, alright, let's do that. Perfect. Okay, we're not ready yet. We're gonna put the we're gonna go here actually Give you guys time enough to recommend me weapons for the spider We're we going around here first. There is a key item we need All right, hey, I think fire is good on the spider I believe Because if you play as Chris, I think you get access to a flamethrower Right. Let's go. Is that you, Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Stop. Are you with anybody, Jill? No. But why? The stars are finished. Someone is a traitor. Umbrella set us up. Enrico! Traitor? Who? Poor Enrico. Mm-mm-mm. Damn. Damn. Enrico seemed like a good guy, too, man. Sad. Is he the captain of the Stars Bravo team, right? Enrico. Correct. Oh, Lord have mercy. I forgot about you. That's why I have my acid rounds. Perfect. All right. It's good to have you back. I was just thinking on what I'm going to fight the spider with. Because I feel like I do want to fight it to get him out of the way. You know, you don't have to fight him. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I guess just to prove I can. I know you can just, you can grab the knife and just 
you know, hit the spider webs, but they can get a good amount of hits in if you do that. Oh, Lord have mercy. Shit. Let's go ahead and... Oh, Lord, I'm not... I should have remembered this. Tell you guys what, that's intense, man. Never trust a hunter. Never. Just try using a shotgun. I can, I can use a shotgun. How about using some flame rounds, too? Seems like I use something different on him every time. All those spiders. Let's see if I have any more shotgun rounds. I'll use it some. I may use a flame round or two, who knows? We'll figure it out, but I'll definitely... Oh, hell yeah, we do. We have more shotgun. What was I thinking? Let's go, then. Uh, maybe I should heal? Let's grab a weak-ass weak, weak -ass single herb. Single herb, where are you? Unless I didn't pick none up. Yeah, I, I got him. Yeah, I got it. So we're going to want another full health restore instead of the two greens. All right, let's go. Just in case. Use it. Use it. Yet, the black tiger does poison you. You are correct. But thankfully, if we do get poisoned, I believe there's a blue herb in the next room. Lucky for us. See what we can do here. No, oh, this is no, oh, this is gonna be intense, guys. Oh man, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not like this part at all. Try no save run on this. Ah, uh, there we go. Very heavy breathing from Jill. Imagine how intense this was when I did my no-save run. Very intense. Actually, I did a no-save run twice, I believe. Hell yeah. And I didn't do a no-save... I, I did the no-save run without the special weapons, too. Hell yes, I did. Alright. Oh gosh, guys. Here we go. Well, let's give him a little fire first. Hey, there we go. Shotgun time. Oh no, he's gonna bite me, guys. Turn your ass around! There we go. You're gonna poison me, aren't you? Oh yeah! Okay. Oh, goodness. Maybe he's weak. Maybe I can use handgun. Oh, yes, I can. Risk. The risk I take. Hey, that put me in caution, guys. That one one spider spit. Spider spitting son of a bitch. Okay. Grab this. I thought there'd be three spiders in here. Maybe that's just hard mode. Oh, no. There he is. There he is. But he's friendly. We're not going to... We're not gonna hurt him. Yeah. He's All right. Perfect. We did not get poison. That was luck. No need for that blue herb. There is a map here. If you guys got lost. Courtyard. Hell yes. Let's go. This is the third area. Yes, the third area so far of this game. And there's one more area, I believe. So we are on the final stretch. I guess it depends on what you... Like, there's short areas. I guess it depends on how you count. Alright. Let's go.
I guess you could just go go by the maps. How many maps do we have? Okay, this is intense too. See that boulder over there, guys? Uh uh uh. Bad news for sure. Well, we we got it, so. Ho! Oh, okay. Just a tip, that second boulder is pretty easy. All you have to do is hit square, hit the run button and up. Run and up and right after you'll go in the right direction. You don't really have to, you don't have to do much aiming like the first boulder. Alright, um, yeah we don't need any of that shit. We don't need help. Who do they think we are, amateurs? <laughs> oh gosh, watch me get killed though. Alright, alright. How you guys feeling? Feeling like we can power through the rest of the game because we're at the end. We're too close to stop now, guys. We better be able to power through it. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Okay. Push that back. All right, I'll read that in just one moment. I am going to push this statue. Oh, oh, perfect. I, I wasn't even looking at that guy. You, you can tell I played this game a lot. I stopped right on time. Alright. Okay, okay. Remember, do I remember when I did my first run through? Uh, 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 yeah. Um, let me think. Yes, that was so, yeah. I got a GameCube just for this game back in the day. Yes, I did. My first run through. Honestly, I played this. Be honest with you, I played this with my friends too. Also, I. Oh man, yeah, that brings back some memories. Uh, I remember playing it, playing it like all day at one of my friends' house. And it turned out we only got past the first part of the mansion. So if you, like, back then when you didn't have a guide or anything, you could spend, like, we could still be back at the very beginning puzzles of this game. We could be looking for keys right now. That's how the game is just as fast paced as you want it to be. Honestly. Pretty much with all the classics. Very good memories on my first playthrough. Is this gonna not line up? Oh, you fucking son of a bitch. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. I thought we locked ourselves out. That would have slowed us down. Trying to remember uh, zero too. God, how long? It may have been two. It may have been quite a while later when zero came out. Was it like two years later or one? I don't know if it had the same kind of graphics, like same exact. Okay, look here. This means that we're okay. Guess what, guys? I'm not running back to the. I'm not running back to the item box. Don't worry. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna. We're gonna burn a more powerful herb than we need. Hell yes, we are. All right. Yes, Resident Evil, Resident Evil Zero. Hmm. Yeah, Tr still trying to. I don't know what I thought about Resident Evil Zero back when it came out. I just didn't. I played it through Resident Evil Zero when it came out. I just don't think I uh, have that many memories with it. Amazing game still though, but just a few things like no item boxes and all that I didn't prefer. Heck yes. Alright, you just played it on your channel. Awesome. Yeah, I still need to check it out for sure. I need to go and check it out. Yeah. I play it pretty fast. We're about to beat this in one night. Yes, we are. Hell yes. All right, let me put the. Um, let's throw some stuff in here. I don't even think we need to save. Uh, all right, let's mix shotgun ammo. Put a lot of the stuff back, like the crank. I don't think we'll need that. Crank back, knife back. So I'm not a knife user very often. This back. Save us room. Grab this herb and get out of here. 
Get the hell out of here. Get out of these damn caves, guys. Get out of these caves. Yes, let's get out of here. Finally, caves are done. Hope there's no more hunters. That's a big risk not saving. You're not sure you took care of all the hunters or not. Oh yeah, it is fun. You yeah, zero is fun, and it you're talking about getting pissed on your last playthrough of Resident Evil. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, like the the one puzzle with the pool ball. Like I decided to do the V jolt. You don't have to earlier. I got so mad because I can't multitask thinking of three things at once for some reason. And that took us a good ten minutes to get past. And I've never been fast at that. Yeah, I know what you mean, though. You get mad whenever you lose your direction. But if you play any game enough, you'll never lose your direction again. I don't think I've gotten lost here in this game. There's no way I could. So I played it too much. Alright. Uh, I know, that, like, it feels like this is my own house I'm walking through. Symbols are carved in its side. I want to show you guys how this works. You just rotate it. I think, if memory serves me correctly, it'd be like 4, 2, 3, 1, maybe? All right, let's see. Uh, not quite. Okay, four. Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> Still going. Damn it. Here we go. All right, four, two. Th Ooh, did I get it wrong? Four, two, three, one. There we go. I think I got it right. There's an empty space for a cylinder. Let's do it. Let's do it. Put that in there. All right. I remember, the key was four, two, three, one. Four, two. Oh, you fucking son of a bitch. No, I gotta. I, I hit it too fast. No, I don't want the cylinder. There we go. I got another one wrong. It's like, I felt like a zombie getting hit me, man. Like, somebody said earlier that when I mess up on puzzles, it freaks me out more than getting bit by a zombie or whatever. Alright, four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. Alright. Hell yes, the power has been restored. All right, let's see here. Let this cutscene play out before I, I answer the chat. Uh oh, no! Oh, I forgot the handgun ammo. Okay. Jill. Barry, thank God you're safe. You too, Jill. A noise I heard brought me down here, but I didn't expect to find a place like this. Have any idea as to what might be at the bottom? There's only one way to find out. Good old Barry. He's back, guys. Hell yes. I always feel safe with Barry. For sure. What the hell is that sound? It could be a person. Jill. Go check it out. We had enough surprises for one day. I'll stay here and secure our escape route in case something happens. Okay. Gotta love it. Big guy with a damn... Look at that beast of a gun. He's like, chill. Go check it out. That's awesome. Gotta love Barry. Alright. Let's go. We're gonna go straight over here and check it out like he says then. Mm, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, because this area is dangerous. I probably should have saved or something, but earlier. But we're good. We're good. Let's get. Let me get through this part. See, that's dangerous shit. Oh Lord, have mercy! You remember somebody was asking about Lisa Trevor earlier? Well, there's your answer. That's Lisa Trevor, Monster in Chains. Is she coming this way? I hope she is, because I don't want to get hit by her. Okay. Um, what was I doing? This way. Let's grab these herbs. We are taking the next steps, progressing pretty fast, guys. Let's hope she don't catch up to us, because she's very powerful. Like one or two hits and you're done. Two hits if you're on green. 
two hits, I think is all it takes to kill you. Alright, let's push this box. And I'll show you a secret that I always miss. Like, I don't even remember ever on the game. Key. There's a hidden space in this room that you can grab a few extra items. I'm going to show you that in just a second, but I don't think I ever did it on GameCube. I guess I uh, never... Oh, you'll see in just a second. Let me just go ahead and hit this button. You just have to explore places that you've never thought of before, I guess. I was so surprised when I found it. Wait, what? We, we placed that material correctly? If not now, then it is here. I honestly think this is the start of Disc 2 on GameCube. Uh, maybe not. Could be wrong. It feels like it was, though. Okay, here we go. This is the hidden space of things that you may have missed. I certainly did. Magnum ammo, handgun, and a defense item. We're going to make room for everything else. Combine that with that. Okay. Probably just burn an herb and eat it. Oh no, we, it's a defense item, but don't take space. Alright. What do you guys think? Do you prefer battery packs or do you like the defense knives? I'm interested to know. Do you guys like daggers or the battery packs? Let me know. I'd love to know what you guys think because it's hard to decide which one is better. Maybe I should switch the battery for the last half of this game. We haven't these many defense items, have we? Alright, let me go through the next door so I can... Lord have mercy, she's fast! Just trust me, she's faster than she looks. I guess it's... we can go this way, right? Alright, it's easy to get turned around in here, trust me on that. Perfect. Alright, alright. Yeah, I still need to check that. Check the message and send you a message also back Barry! no Barry <sighs> Barry why oh man guys oh Barry just when we thought he was a nice guy gotta love Barry but damn Damn, damn, damn. Okay, let's mix this with that. Where the hell is... Put the magnum ammo up. 12, alright, let's go. Um, da -da 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 -da. Perfect. Remember, we sent that box in here. Awesome. We're gonna move it this way. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Oh shit, dude. Go. <laughs> Push it. Alright. Here we go. Now we're gonna hit the button. Garbage compactor. I can't believe Barry left, guys. What did you guys think about Barry be being the double crosser the first time through? The double crosser? I bet it broke your heart. After him helping us out all this time. We're going to figure out why he did it. That's what we're going to get to the bottom of. Alright, we got the broken flamethrower. Let's head right back in here. Flamethrower. Flamethrower. Uh, what do you call it? The hanger on the wall? Let's go. I think the daggers are cool because, oh man.
man. Because you can actually get them back if you blow a zombie's head off. Oh, shit, is she following? Head around. Let's go. Oh, man. That, that threw me in a loop. Uh, that really threw me in a loop. There we go. Crank. Okay. The hell out of here, then. Hope we can... Okay, good. I think it's down here. Oh, bitch! She's right here where we need to go. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to delay that trip. We're gonna do the lever one more time. Oh, man, that hasn't happened before. See, it is timed. We have to get down there in a certain amount of time before it falls. Man, that's, that was rough. That was making me wish I did save. She better not do that again. Okay, she coming. Okay, we don't have time to wait. Oh lord. Now I've, uh... I've gone the wrong direction. Son of a bitch. Look at her. What the hell did I... Okay. Let's just wait one more time and do it because we don't have time. Lisa, you have messed me up. Let's go. What the fuck? Uh, it is. Let's go. Go, woman. Let's go. Alright. Hell yes. Well, that was a headache. Ah, you like the battery better. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. Batteries. I'll, I'll equip a battery in just a second. Yeah, I do have Resident Evil 5. Actually, I really... I enjoy that as a co-op game. I was saying... I'll, uh... I'll, I'll just... Yeah, like I was saying, I'll just send you... I'll send you a message with my gamer tag then. Resident Evil 5. Perfect game. I mean, my, uh... You know, ID, I guess you would call it on here. Let's examine this. Perfect. Jewelry box. Stone ring. Alright, kind of important to the story here. A family picture and notes. There's something written on the back. November the 10th, 1967. Progenitive virus administered. Jessica administered virus type A. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative. Action disposed. Lisa administered virus type B. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion positive but delayed fusion. Body modification observed. Constant results. Status. Continue protective observation. George. Action terminated. There's a journal left by someone. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake. Not my real mom. Same face but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to find... Have to give a face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom said when I meet her without her face. From inside box scent of mommy. Maybe true mother nature. Mother. N <laughs> okay. Maybe true mother there. Motherfucker. Stone box hard. It hurts still. <laughs> oh god. This is a serious document too. Stone box hard. It hurts still roping the way. Can't see mother because four stones. So it's basically. <laughs> that's it. It's basically pointing us in the direction of. That was Lisa Trevor. She's talking about her mom. It's kind of pointing us into the direction of what's happening next. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Let's go. Talk about putting words in that's not meant to be there. Alright, green. I don't believe we'll need another blue herb, so let's leave that there. All right, ladder. Ladder time. Loading screen. Perfect. Wow, how amazing is it that we ended up right back here where Lisa Trevor lived. Well, her little cabin area. 
what we can do. We can mix this metal object with this stone ring right now. And that's just like the one we've already used to get back to this whole area. All right, we got that taken care of. And we're going to wait until we get into the mansion to take care of all the other management. But first, like I promised, good lord, I'm going to switch to the battery. We've got nine of that. Man, so that's too many defense items, right? Yes, it is. Okay, let's go. Switch to batteries. Perhaps we can use it on something. We'll find out. Stair surfing. Now, like I was saying, uh, speedrunners use stair surfing a lot. You know, if you want it easy, you have alternate controls, like I was speaking of earlier. But I don't believe in it. I believe if you have any, if you have any experience in classic games, then we have no business on the easy controls. New people, definitely. New people, if you're new to the classics, go for it. She said I got... Yeah, let's see. Read that on the next loading screen door. Perfect. He said... I get pissed just reading the document. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, I'll message that ID. PSN ID. Right. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna just grab, uh... Oh, Lord have mercy. We're gonna have to chew. Well, let's just... Mm, yeah, let's burn that just to get the first aid spray. Maybe it wasn't a good green. Maybe, maybe the fine condition was kind of a weak fine. Who knows? That's my excuse anyway. All right, let's go. We are out of here, guys. We are out of this whole area, and we are on to the last stage, the last area of the game. This has been an amazing time. Well, I need to go get it. Oh, son of a bitch, dude. Look at this. I was playing all ahead. Okay, you know, what should we... Okay, let's just... You know, I don't... I, I just burned that, too. I know it's careless, but still... Uh, I just didn't want... I want to keep it fast-paced. Because at this current time, I know there's people that's probably struggling to stay awake. So, fast-paced. I try to cover the documents and everything for you along the way. Get my... Get my tongue twisted. Well, let's take a shortcut. Perfect. I like it. I, I, I kind of think it's a little shorter this way. Go through this picture room. Uh, speaking earlier, it's it's great that you actually have all these alternate routes. You can avoid monsters completely if you want to, or you can take shortcuts. We definitely took the long route earlier with the hunters. All that work just to get, what, a few shotgun shells? I'm talking about this tiger statue with the blue and blue and yellow gym. That was totally unnecessary. We have enough ammo. Stair surfing. Stair surfing, guys. Repeatedly hit square. The run button. Alright, we have what we... Okay, good. We have what we need. Wonder what's on the other side of this door. See, it's it's good to examine this door before you even meet Lisa Trevor. If this were your first playthrough, you'd be like, what the hell is that? But now we know it's her. Should have thought to come back here first, you know. It would have been a better experience. I'll remember that on the next playthrough. Alright, open the door. Oh yeah, we're gonna beat it. We are gonna beat it tonight. And about... Yeah, what well, we have, like... Mm, probably, like... Good lord, we only have, like, what? 30-40 minutes of gameplay left, guys. We are about to do it. Man, we're doing this. All in one night. Here we go. Okay. We're going to save right before the next part, just in case. Another fun thing that I did way back when I 
you know, on the GameCube especially, I would save, I would use different save slots to save the game on the highlights, and I would show that to my friends. I did that with the, oh, no, we're not yet, we're going back up here. I did that with Code Veronica as well. Definitely fun stuff back then. I'm just going to run to this, this uh, typewriter up here and save. I don't know why the hell, I'll just, I, I was just showing you stair surfing, I guess. That's how quickly you can surf the stairs if you're speed running. I have an excuse for everything. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get a blue screen in just a second, but it's gonna clear. And then we're heading to the last stage. We're about to we're about to finish it once and for all. We are going to beat it, guys. Hell yes we are. Okay, grab what we need out of here. Now, just in case, take a few magnum shots. You know, to keep our distance from this next enemy, who you will find out in a second. In that. Perfect. Perfect, I guess. Put this back for now. We're going to go ahead and get the... Remember, the Medal of Wolf and Medal of Eagle? Plan ahead here. Medal of Eagle, all right. We have enough, eh, we have enough firepower, screw it. You know, shotgun, we don't need it. Take, a, I'd rather take an extra health just in case. All right, perfect. Here we go. Epic stuff about to happen. You gotta love these graphics, the atmosphere. Perfect. Alright, let's go. Jill, you're alive. I was worried because I thought you were. Start talking. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Don't lie to me. Definitely give the gun back to Barry. Hell yes. Thanks, Jill. Cause I like Barry. Oh Lord. Keep our distance from her. Cover me, Barry. Uh I'll cover you. I don't want you to get hurt. Hell no. Save Barry, guys. Save him. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, come on. Follow me. Don't go for Barry. Uh. He's trying to keep some distance. Help me, Barry. Help. Let's get her to this side. I need a little back up. Back. Okay. There we go. Barry knew we could. We got this. Barry knew it. Oh shit. There we go. Yeah. Yep, and some people probably think it's a waste to use Magnum there, but everything to keep Barry safe. All right. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Okay. All right. Barry's got this place covered. He always does. 
All right, an interesting document here from Lisa, I believe. Another family picture. It's a letter. Day by day, I can feel my consciousness drifting further away. The shots given to me by men in white clothes made some of mommy's itching go away. Today, they gave me another shot saying it was nutrition. When they gave me the shots, mommy's can think straight. Oh, God. But mommy's shocked and sad because mommy's unable to think of you all the time. Mommy's afraid, afraid of forgetting everything, especially the memories of you and daddy. What your faces look like, how we used to be together. They all... They are all starting to disappear into somewhere dark in my mind. Oh, Lisa, wish I could touch your face and hold you in my arms right now so that I could hold you on our... This is from Jessica. So I could hold you on our wonderful memories of you and Daddy, right? Lisa, we can't stay here any longer. We have to escape. Listen to me, Lisa. Our chance to escape is the next time when we get to that lab together. We both pretend that we are both unconscious and when that man in white clothes is off guard, that will be our chance. When we're on the outside, let's look for Daddy together, okay, sweetie? They're talking about George Trevor. Be strong, Lisa. Jessica Trevor. Yes, that's from the mother. Starting to laugh during the documents because I don't want to mess up as bad as I did on the others. After you read doc, after I read documents for a certain amount of time, I start saying things that's not even there. All right. Oh yeah. All right, taking care of the last part of the game. Here we go. This is a circular depression. There's a wolf-shaped emblem carved inside. So, Medal of Wolf, guys. There's one more side to this. Over here, we see a circular depression. There's an eagle-shaped emblem carved inside. Medal of Eagle. Here we go. The final area of the game, right here. And man, it's been a lot of fun. Had a lot of fun so far. Let's hope we can finish it out. We can do this. Okay, 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 guys. You would have gotten a trophy right here if this were your first playthrough for making it into the last area. Okay, let's examine this door. This sign reads, will not open unless first class emergency. Pay attention to that. It's going to come in handy later. Don't forget about that door. You can run around circles not knowing where to go. First class emergency, guys. That's what it said, anyway. Alright, let's uh, put... Go ahead and put the magnum back, trade it for the shotgun, and be on our way. We are on the final part of the game. This is it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this so far. I really do. It's been a lot of fun. Go ahead and put the ammo back. Oh, actually, no. No. We are going to equip the fuel canteen and the lighter. Yes, we are. The lighter. Take care of a few zombies out here. Use the last burning. All right, let's do it. We're going to do it right. Perfect. Here we go. Up, oh, zombie. He's fast, though. Pretty fast. All right. Oh, Lord. Okay, good. There we go. Burn him. There we go. Grab this. Refill it once more. We are going to leave one alive. One alive for extra credit, guys. I think there's three, right? Two? Okay, well, we're not going to do anything to him.
Defense item. Here we go. Okay, there's three. Good. Perfect. How are we doing here? Um, Burning that handgun. Alright, let's just burn this one. Hell yes. Alright. Let's go put that shit up and get to the next area. That last zombie's gonna be dangerous, guys. Why are we doing it? Why are we even doing it when we can burn him? To make it cool! Entertaining, I guess. Alright, let's throw this back. Throw everything back. Mm, okay, good, good, good. Put that back, good. Let's go. We're all set, just about. Here we go. Guess I'll just leave the herbs there. All right. Actually, come on. Come on, get up. Oh, yeah! Whew, there we go. We don't have to waste any more time burning zombie bodies. If we didn't blow his head off, we would. Alright. Head into this room here. Let's show you guys. Let's show you guys what happens here. You'd have to, uh, if it's your first time playing, you'd have to get the x-rays and put them in alphabetical order over here. Yeah, just... Eh, there's a... It's kind of a puzzle. It's telling you the body parts. So we just take them. And we're gonna put them right here. This one there. I mean, it could be the wrong order, but... You'll get the point as soon as I turn the lights on. Just go and hit this switch here. And basically what you do, if they're in alphabetical... Oh yeah, I did get it right, huh? C, E... You're gonna take the first initial... You're gonna take the first initial of the body parts, I believe, and... You're gonna come up with the word cell. C-E-L-L. -L, based upon everything that you're doing there in the puzzle. Researcher's letter. My dearest Ada. You guys remember Ada? You remember her. By the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and I suspected it came out positive. I feel like I'm teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your password. Your name is the password. You will need another password to release the lock in the door in the basement level 2 where the visual data room is located. A safety measure, I have coded that password into the x-ray picture or rentogram, I have no idea. I... Rentogram. Okay. I know you and I'm I'm sure you'll be able to work out without any trouble. There's just one more thing and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state, but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. Okay. Alright, let's go. John Ada. You you saw that, right? Like at the end of it, she read it back to herself, John Ada. So, what we're going to do, so we are going to run in here first because we're going to need a... No, we can't because this is what I'm talking about. Just to show you guys that, I guess. Drink, sim... Oh, Derek, you're talking about... Oh, you're talking about Resident Evil 6. You are talking about Resident Evil 6, Ada, and all that. Yeah, I think so. All right, so this is the... Uh, this is where we're going to find out what the code's for. 
right, let's go. You see that magnum ammo? Looks very shiny, right? Let's grab it. Hell yes, we'll take it. Why not? Why not? Okay, guys. Here we go. All right, log in. John. Remember, she repeated this to herself in the subtitles. John. Ada. A D A. Enter. Verified. Perfect. B2. Now the password of the x ray is cell. L L. Alright. Unlocked. Unlocked a couple doors there. Unlocked one maybe. And then we're going to unlock the second and go. Unlock B3. All right, there we go. We got the doors unlocked. We can sign out of this computer. Go grab this defense. I think there's a defense item back here. Right. Battery pack. Hell yeah, what's our ninth one again? It's because we did burn one. Let's go. Doors unlocked now. The electronically locked doors. All right. What was it you were saying about Derek Simmons in the documents? Here, here comes the, oh yeah, yeah. What, all right, let's see here. Let's go. All right. You're gonna wanna aim and fire immediately in here, I guess. Oh, even that's not enough, right? Battery time. I had to reload. We would have had him. Always remember, that zombie's pretty dang close, guys. If you have to reload, it's it's done. You're gonna get bitten. Slide filter. We're gonna figure that out in just a moment. We will be right back here. Do I have a disc not? Nope. Alright, we're gonna be right back here. But we are gonna go take care of one thing first. We got that slide filter. Heading back up the steps, and there's a room on the left. Room on the left. Okay. It's good that the zombie's still sleeping, I hope. Thank you, he's sleeping good. Alright, um, okay. In here first. Okay, let's, let's look at this. The film has been set into place. Hell yeah, we're gonna view it. Umbrella. Bioorganic weapon official report. Oh, there's the dog. Neptune. As we're finding out all the answers. Hunter. Tyrant. Oh my gosh. That looks like a beast, right? Bioorganic weapons research group development staff. Oh, the guy on the right looks familiar. Is it Captain Wesker? I believe so. All right, there's a barcode, but it doesn't look it doesn't look interesting. So all we have to do is use the slide filter and run through that. And 8462. It is a code. That is a code for this. Passcode entry terminal. Use it. What did it say? 8462. All right. Perfect. Great. First aid spray there. Don't want it right now, I guess. There's a hidden map here for some reason. Laboratory map. All right. There's a lab map. Shotgun. Oh, security protocols. Okay. Heliport for executive use only. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency pass Passage to heliport entry is prohibited unless un occupied a, com bleh, a companion yeah, by a consult consultant researcher or the chief of security. Unauthorized persons entering the air heliport will be shot on site. I'm trying to read too fast. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. 
visual data room for use by the special research division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Irving, room manager. Prison sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant, researcher E. Smith S. Ross Albert Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorized. Triple door lock entry to the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all the passcodes. Accessing the ex exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock. God, they're using too many words. Power room in the in this room, nitro compound is used as the primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Passcode output terminals use and access use and now access of output terminals is god damn who wrote this dog limited to authorized senior researchers regarding this progress of tyrant after the administration of the t virus allegable hereafter that whole thing was allegable <laughs> to me shit dude I'm trying to read it too fast damn trying to pick up the pace towards the last half of the game uh, okay, some sort of image editing equipment. We're definitely going to use it to view Kenneth's film. Remember in the beginning, the zombie was tearing him up? Hell yes, let's view it. Damn, such a shame. Poor Kenneth. All right, grab this first stage spray and get out of here. All right, perfect. What the hell is that? Oh, okay, this, this there. All right, gonna let's see what we can do about this. Drop like half of our items in the box, I guess, and then sweep around. It'll be like the last time we come up here until the ending. No, oh, you say you got the mini gun. Uh, it's talking about Resident Evil Five. Sounds good to me. All right. Um, that back. I don't know why. Okay, put that back. We're good. We are good. Actually, one more. One. Yeah, one more just in case. All right. Here we go. You guys could have probably read the documents better than me reading them out loud if I would actually flip through them slowly, but what's the... <laughs> that's no fun. Gotta see how twisted I get on the words. Alright, let's see what here. Grab this other disc thing. There's one more disc in here. Remember we passed it? Let's get it. Take the disc. All right, we're gonna start using these discs. All right, let's go. One disc here, the other one over there. There's this three discs. Do it to get the cannon, the more cannon in and get the game. Alright. Alright, we are just a few minutes away from the ending, actually. Closing in on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the disc here. There's one, guys. Looks like a GameCube, right? One unlocked. Lever unlocked. Perfect. Alright, one down. And we have the key. We're going to go ahead and unlock the last doors of the game. Last doors of the game coming up. Last key doors, at least. Last key doors. Unlock this one. Laboratory key. 
finally unlock this one. Let's go ahead and discard it and enter. Enter! Yeah, me. Uh, I, yeah, maybe play at Resident Evil Five at some point for sure. Do you ever play the verses in Resident Evil Five? I played it before, but I'm pretty. I'm not really as good at it anymore as I used to be. I used to play the verses and all that, and the story, mostly the story though. All right, let's get get up here. Oh, you hear that? That don't sound like anything good, right? Sounds like a monster to me. Okay, here's a defense item here on the table. Weird place for it. Alright, let's use that. Here's our second one. Looks like a GameCube. Remember, this game was exclusive to the GameCube at one point. GameCube exclusive when it first came out. So I can see the resemblance. Oh, God. I hope he's... Okay. There we go. Alright, there we have it. We're done with that room. And I will make one more manual save just in case. Don't want us to get set back if I make a careless mistake up here. There's one more thing that is slightly nerve-wracking. There we go. Oh, dude. Holy shit. He's, he's really naked. Uh, well, we're just gonna waste it then. Uh, yeah, okay. I probably didn't kill him, but... Alright. I know, headshots are, um... You really do have to time it right for headshots. I used to be better at the headshots than I am tonight, but... What can I say? We are playing it all in one playthrough, and... I'm kinda... Well, the good thing is I have not used all these defensive items. I have a lot of defensive items left, to say the least. All right, grab a ink ribbon. I'd say I'm doing okay. There's just a few, a few things that I shouldn't have done earlier, like dodging those hunters five or six times just to put the, uh, put the blue gem in the tiger statue. All right, I believe this is. I think this may be the last save of the game, guys. I'm confident if I can get past this next part. All right, I think so. The last blue screen you may see on the saves. Alright, we are doing it. This is it. Last save of the game. Last save. Alright, oh, we're going to go ahead. We'll just use the shotgun. Perfect. Combine that with that. We have it equipped and let's go. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Sometimes I don't even, uh... Sometimes I try to avoid most of the... Oh, good lord! Okay, that one just left and went home. That was close. Whoa! Man, man, man. Definitely wanna... I'd say to take care of these now, so we don't have to later. I mean... Oh, hell no! What the hell? Is he afraid? Okay, well... Leave him alone, then. He's not gonna cause any trouble. So, uh, I, I think the best thing to do for these next parts, especially on the no-save run, is go ahead and kill those two at least. Because this part says fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. That would be a bitch to get hit by one of these monsters because we're going to be... We're going to be capable of exploding, basically. 
as soon as we refill this capsule. That would be... Uh, I've had it happen before, I think. But on a no-save run, don't... <laughs> don't screw around. Just, um... Just kill those. That way you can take that path without worrying about the creatures. Hell yes. Yeah. That would... <laughs> Yes, that would suck. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Don't let me start running now, because I'll blow up. I forget. You'll forget sometimes. You're not thinking about it. Take off running. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's just... You're about to find out. Shit going in this room right here. this stuff open it a refueling device all right fuel supply capsule the main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro compound running could result in a fatal explosion all right uh, we can take a few running steps but not many Alright, here's this last argument, or one of them. Sanitation Division, Attention Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named address C only. After any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak. <laughs> That, it, that initially estimated there are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our security, security, <laughs> secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most re secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success of our recent research results. Actions must be taken to prevent our research results. Good lord, from being made public. I cannot read fast. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state, police, and stars. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Whew. I try to read fast because I know how late it is for some of you guys. And when I do that, I start putting in words. It's not even there. I think it's probably... It has to do that I've been playing this for quite... What the fuck? Oh, god damn! See? That's what I'm saying. The document threw me off, guys. Alright, well, we're right here, so... I need you to save it. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! You just saw that shit. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. That's been... That's been bullshit, dude. How the hell? I said don't let me run. <laughs> you guys let me. Lord... Hmm. What just happened? What I was talking about the last five minutes, like, don't do it. I was like, don't run. Do not run with that. And <laughs> the mansion blew up. It didn't even register in my mind. I thought that the game cut off. Alright, no, I'm not reading that damn document again. Kill them, grab it, and get out of here. Screw it, we're just right here anyway. I knew to save it. I knew something would happen. I had a feeling. That's not even a legit death, either. It's... Me losing every- How the hell did I even make it to that door? Did I run that all- that whole way? What the hell? Son of a bitch. Here we go. Take care of- The reason I was saying to kill these is because if they hit you, you blow up, I believe. Kill that. Son of a bitch. There we go. Now let's go ahead and grab that fuel capsule. I think there's a second one lurking about. Fuel may explode. Okay, yeah, we found that out. We found that out. Yes, we did. Damn document. Focused on my reading skills instead of carrying a freaking fuel capsule. Oh my gosh. Damn, that is... Uh, 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 that is disappointing.
Yeah, get a hit in. I don't care. I'll hit you. I'll get you. He didn't get. He didn't even turn away that time. I mean, the first time he was friendly and went back, dude. All right. Okay, let's go. I seriously thought the power went off when I got killed there. I was like, what the hell? It's like, shit. We were this close and it disconnected? I was kind of, uh... I was kind of happy that it was a death and not a disconnection, honestly. But I did not plan on getting killed here. That's a, if it were a no-save run, I would be furious right now. Now oh, we're right back here. Right back. Just grab it and go. I am mad at that document. <laughs> so funny though. Alright, there we go. I will not take off running again. I assure you that. You can take three or four still. So I'm, I'm leaving that document there this time. Alright. You can, like, run a few steps and stop. Like, one, two, and then... Yeah, like that, but don't do anything too crazy. After, like, the fourth step, it's over. I have to watch the replay and see how many I actually took in that room before I blew up. Seemed like it waited until we got to the next area. That was weird. Alright. Let's just hope that these bugs didn't miraculously come back to life. Definitely walk, walk, walk. Alright. We're just taking this to the to the device in here. Alright, this is... Yeah. I feel like it's so dangerous even just taking one step or two now that I saw what happened. Hell yes. Now that's over. No more exploding. Make sure it's out of there. <laughs> Being paranoid about it. Alright, we're on to the last stage. The, I mean, the last little part of the game. The biggest part of the game, I mean. They're the most dangerous part. So is actually not I want the disc. I want to put the disc in. So just grab that. Just to be just because I feel incomplete if I don't. Grab that disc out of the box and then last key. Last key that we need. And then we're gonna we're gonna start it up. Here we go, here we go. Grab that disc. There it is, thankfully. Thankfully I have it. Let's go. Perfect. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, this is it, guys. Very, <laughs> very close to the ending. If you guys are struggling, say, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Last key. Last disc. Disc into the GameCube. All green. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Uh, we don't have to kill them. Just run if you're fast enough. Honestly, it's probably probably safer to run. 
if you just run full speed, probably shouldn't be able to hit you. Uh, in fact, I'm going to unequip that just so I can run faster. No power. We're going to fix that. Oh! Let's see here. Here we go. Back. Oh, actually, we're gonna oh, we're gonna pre prepare for a battle up here, guys. Quick preparation. Quick preparation. Up. Oh. Grab what we need. I don't think we'll need to save. Let's grab Magnum. Oh wow, we got a lot of acid rounds, right? Well, let's get flame rounds, I guess. Shit, we got a lot of no, oh, we got a lot of stuff here. Feel like, oh man, let's combine that with that. Just use what we have left in the shotgun then. Perfect. Go ahead and get our magnum ammo. I think it was up at the top, right? Yes. It's a lot of magnum ammo. Alright, I mean, I, I seriously think we can finish the rest half of the game with a magnum alone. Uh, but I don't know. We're gonna find out. Let's see. Give me, give me acid rounds. Uh, man, man, man. It's like, what do we have room for? Alright, good for now, I guess. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go. I'm not saving, because I want to be confident. Uh, I want to make up for that uh, make up for that explosion back there Jill Barry you could have at least waited up for it, you know? let's go Awesome, Barry. Hell yes, he's back. There's shotgun ammo. Well, we may grab it on the way back. Who knows? Wesker! Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. <sighs> Musker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry? <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. You and Umbrella took his family, you bastard. Oh! Umbrella. Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used Barry for my personal interests. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell.
It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. <gasps> Barry! Forgive me. No, you're not to blame. It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends again. Shit! together in hell you want a piece of me what premature <laughs> Barry came back to save the day. Freaking. You, uh, screw with Barry. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him for that. I'm gonna try to anyway. See what happens. I don't really need, uh, heavy firepower. What the hell? I actually forgot to... <laughs> I forgot to bring the grenade launcher. Let's go. Alright. Two? Barry, are you okay? This isn't, there's no time for that. Uh, maybe he'll be okay. Oh, shit. Oh, he reached me? Okay. I, uh, miscalculated. Alright, I took too long. Let him get a few hits in. Let's go check on Barry. Actually, let's go check on Wesker first. No, just for story purposes. Wait, what a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. This would be a document. Observation note. The discovery of the G-Virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of progenitor virus. The prototype parasite which we had delivered from a laboratory in France was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery. But now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubated in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then, from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated, evolved, may be a more appropriate word to describe it. The observation gave me more insight in my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpassed the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the B.O.W.'s history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research, but unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Birkin. Remember him, guys, right? What a pathetic way to die. She's talking about Wesker. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go check on Barry. Barry! Barry! Uh, you're okay. Uh, Jill. Sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. First, let's just get out of here. What second? First, let's get out of here. All right, this is the way. Barry, it's freaking awesome. Look at that big gun. Amazing. He came to save the day. All right, where's the? There we go. Wesker would have killed me if it wasn't for Barry. Hey, yes. Thank you, Barry. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. 
Gotta love self-destruct systems. Every Resident Evil, most of them. Amazing. Self-destruct system. All right, here we go, guys. Follow Barry. Self-destruct, we gotta get the hell out of here. It's gonna blow up. But first, you got, you're gonna love this. Go this way. This is what we've been working on with the disc, guys. Levers for releasing the door locks. Hell yes, pull it. One. Two. And three. Hell yes. Here we go. All right. This amount of detail is amazing. The red, the red lights and everything once the self-destruct system happens. Awesome. We don't get games like that these days. The lock is released. Hell yes. Let's go. Jill! Chris, you're okay! Glad to see you are too. Anything on Wesker? We'll talk later. First, let's get going. Hell yes, we found Chris, guys. Let's go, Chris. Alright, there he is. On the way. Gotta catch up to Chris. Gotta catch up. Uh oh. Oh, no way. Oh, man. Oh, no. That's what I get for leaving one alive for entertainment purposes. Damn it. Oh, man. Here we go. Uh, Crimson's. All right. Let's see what we can do here. We're going to grab the grenade launcher before we head up. Probably want to. Probably want to heal or something here. I mean, just to do it. Yeah, we are in caution. Thanks to that. Staircase. Alright, um... I don't even know that we'll need the shotgun. Probably not. Yeah, trade the shotgun for health. Perfect. Mix... Okay, we just mix a couple of things. One more health item, guys. Yeah, first aid spray, why not? It, it's full health restore. Alright, let's go. I am a fool for not saving the game. Come on, come on, hurry! Alright. Okay, we got... Ah, uh, we don't need none of that. This is Brad. I'm running out of fuel. If there's anyone alive, contact me now or just give me a sign. I repeat, this is your last chance. All right, there comes my backup. The self-destruct system has been activated. All personnel 
We're all getting out of here. with Brad. No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Friss! Would you let me have my moments too? <laughs> All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. Yes, you do sense a boss fight. And I didn't we didn't save. Uh uh uh. Very intense. And we only have like two minutes to do it in. Two forty eight. Signal rockets. Oh no. It's gone, Jam. We gotta save him. Oh shit. Oh, come on. This way. This way. Don't hurt Barry. Oh! Oh, that was a dodge, barely. Come on, come on. Help me, Barry. We got he's locking on. Look at it. Oh shit. Get him, Barry. Hell yes. This is. Oh fuck! I need to shut up, don't I? All right, don't don't help, Barry. Help me, help me. Oh man, that did some damage. All right, get him, Barry. Oh, what the fuck? I oh, oh I forgot. <laughs> Bad mistake. Okay. I better quit. Oh shit, dude. What is he doing? Oh! Get it, Jill. Let's get a let's get a good shot on him. Get him, Barry. Oh! I didn't see you there. Shit. Amazing. One of my favorites of all time, if not my favorite game of all time, Resident Evil. I tried to make that rooftop ending interesting, but after I got hit, I remembered that I didn't save and, well, I started, I, I could have used the, uh, I used the Magnum the whole way through. It was alright, eh, it was okay battle up there at the helipad. Heck yeah. Barry, I was trying to focus on Barry. 
Trying to show you guys that he gives some awesome backup. He got my ass handed to me up there, too. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Excellent work, thank you. Yeah, that was... <laughs> That was, that was very, that was intense up at the rooftop, but I guess probably the worst I've played the roof helipad, so hope it wasn't too bad for you guys. Not the worst I've played, like recently, I guess. I got smacked around a couple of times, and we still did it. We still got it. I, it's great to know you enjoyed it. Thank you. And we will definitely, we will definitely play it again, too. I'll definitely be playing this again, especially, especially to make a, you know, better choices in my next playthrough. Not choices, but you know, especially like the boss battle and not blowing up from the thing. I forgot about the explosive I had in my pocket. All right, that that sounds good. Sounds like a good one. Um, yeah, it was. I love this game, guys. Amazing. Especially the rooftop. It's probably the most epic ending that that I could say. Like, that's, that's why I wanted to make it interesting up at the roof. But I failed. Uh, just the fact that you have Barry and Jill and Chris up there. Everybody fighting against Jill, the tyrant. You did a fine job. Well, that's five hours. We did stop and read documents and everything. Five hour playthrough, guys. That was, uh, yeah, it was okay. I mean, if it, was, if it were a speed run, we could have did it a lot faster. All right, perfect. Yeah. Well, what it does, if you at the see, I've unlocked everything, but since we did a new save save slot, we got real survival mode. Uh, costume closet key. All right, that's what it would give us. Wasn't a speed run or anything. We just made it. Let's overwrite that. When we replay, when I play this again, I'll definitely continue our save slot and not the one that I have everything unlocked on. Alright. Let's see. All right, blue screen here. Just a moment for that. Alright. It's great to see you guys enjoyed this. This see here. Um... Yeah, amazing. What the hell? It's giving us a bunch of blue screens before it hits the menu. All right, it is back. Yeah. Amazing game. Awesome ending. The rooftop. So freaking cool. All right, good to see you guys enjoyed it. Ah, awesome, awesome, awesome. What's your guys' favorite part? Favorite part? It's got to be the, you know, the rooftop. It's epic up there, guys. It's just not epic when you get slapped around as the player. Eh. Alright. I will catch you in the next one then. Have a good night. That's what he said. Alright, guys. Oh, well, I think that is that is going to do it for Resident Evil. It's like, uh, yeah. Amazing. Lisa. Your favorite part was Lisa. Which part with Lisa? Maybe next time I should uh, I should play Chris on this next. Sounds good to me. Play Chris and... You know, different characters show up whenever you play as Chris. It's like it's not Barry. I think that's why I prefer to play as Jill first. If it's your first time playing through because you do get Barry. And Barry's freaking awesome. Gotta admit. Oh, uh, yeah, your favorite part was the part where uh, Lisa gets the mother skull from the coffin. That was a pretty epic part. Especially the part, you know, Barry, you have to give him his gun back. Just a warning, if you guys don't give Barry his gun back, Lisa Trevor will knock him off the platform and you won't see him anymore. And that is the most sad, sad ending. I mean, yeah, it's sad, but if you like Barry, of course. Barry Burton. All right. What time? Let's see what time we finish now. What time? It is... Oh, wow. Yeah, we... I would say good timing. We did play five hours. It is currently 4.51 in the morning. We have powered through the whole game in one night. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That is true. Barry was only working with Wesker because they were holding his daughter's hostage. Holding his, hand, holding his whole family hostage, guys. Yes, that is true. That's why uh, 
Barry is probably one of the best characters in the game. He was never a double crosser. He's going to do everything he can to protect his friends. Protect Jill. He even said that in the one cutscene. Protect Jill and Chris. All right. All right. Well, we'll see what we got coming up next. Not quite sure yet. Well, we're going to find out. I am working on videos in the, in the making. So we're going to see. All right. So, not sure what I'm going to... Not sure what we'll stream next, but definitely more of this game. Since it's one of my favorites. Probably going to do some Co-Veronica. Might go do the Co-Veronica battle game soon. Just to see if we can do it. Definitely play as Chris here, like I've been saying. And, uh... I don't know, we got... Look here, real survival, once again. There's different things we can do in Resident Evil. Amazing game. It's hard... It's hard to get tired of the first Resident Evil. Awesome stuff. Revelations 2, that sounds like a that sounds like a good one. I could definitely play Revelations 2. I've got it. Hell yeah, I'll be picking back up with Barry. Revelations 2, sounds like a plan. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for Resident Evil. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope I did a good enough job. And I will catch you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.